I would like to greet you all with uh, the love of the Lord. And we hope that you are aware that we are on a journey. Salvation is not an incident. Salvation is a journey. It begins with our birth to the Lord in, into the gospel, by the gospel. And then we are required to start functioning, walking in light of that gospel, allowing the Lord to transform us from reprobates, from bastards, from strangers and enemies of God to becoming dearly beloved children. Uh, greetings, South Africa and the Sadic regions. Yeah, service na my so we are overjoyed today, we are happy, and we welcome you to our service. Indeed, it is a time to learn, a time to thank the Lord. This is a time that we should cherish and honor the Lord for such a privilege. We were lost, and I can hear Amazichibaba testimonies Zagawanda of how the gospel is transforming them, strengthening them, changing them the way they were living before and how they are now living. They are now awakened to righteousness. They now uh, detest living in sin because you now have the knowledge of Christ. So let's continue to listen to the word. Let's continue to thank the Lord for such grace. Let's continue to be each brother's keeper. We are in a journey, as Amaya was saying, the journey of salvation. So each sermon, when it comes, it prunes us, it edifies us. So I got to know that I want to talk to you about sermons and listen to this sermon with a heart to learn, with a heart to be edified. Because when I was talking to you, we were lost in darkness. So as the light continues to come in us, definitely darkness will go out and will become knowledgeable in the things of the kingdom of God. The mysteries that we are taught each and every day, the apostolic grace that we see each and every day, and we really thank God. Uh, in the scriptures today, we, re we read uh, what Apostle Paul was writing to the churches, the Ephesians, the Colossians. But do you imagine, or do you at times take time just to ponder and think that today we've got an apostle who is talking to us in as much as we read the Bible, but today we are privileged to have an apostle among us and we learn the gospel of God. We learn the deep mysteries and we are edified each and every day. It's such a wonderful experience that we should own and thank God always, brethren. Pastor, we really thank God for such a privilege. We are a loved generation, a peculiar people indeed. Indeed, Elder, we thank God. Makadi, Makadi, Amadzangu, Zese, Muzimbabwe, the Sadiq region, ne South Africa, Makadini, Makadini. All right. Um, I want to start by saying our people in these regions, mm. South Africa, uh, Southern Africa, and Zimbabwe, we want you to um, take advantage of the Revelation Gathering 1. Yes. Remember, we announced that we have changed our dates. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily changed, but we have a, made a small adjustment yes. to our dates. Yeah. Our get-together is now happening from Friday the 3rd, yes. the 3rd of May, yes. up to Sunday the 5th. Yes. Thank God for make that. Use, <laughs> make use of this appointment. Mm -hmm. Our leaders will tell us our modalities and our arrangements. Please, uh, we do not expect believers in South Africa to not be there. Yes. yes. There is plenty of time for those who go to work to clear your schedules. Yes. Apply for some leave days 
so that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you are going to be in the Kauteng province, from which you are going to attend the program. We are not going to be going home. Yes. There is accommodation arrangements. You need to learn from our leaders what to carry so that you will not be stranded. Um, we want to have a very organized program and, and we have had so many uh, meetings with those who are organizing to make sure that every aspect of the planning is covered to make sure that when we come to the day, all we need to do is arrive at the venue mm -hmm. and start to learn the word of God. Yes. We hope also believers are going to find believers from other regions. Mm -hmm. uh, Botswana, you are close to South Africa. Namibia, you are close. Yes. Mozambique, you are close. Mm -hmm. yes. You can go to South Africa and meet with others there yes. to attend the get-together. Um, I have not so far figured out what is going to be the title for this short message. But we are going to start by reading Acts chapter 17 from verse number 22. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, you men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. I figured out that you love religion. Greeks are religious. Mm -hmm. yes. Everything that the Greeks do is attached to a deity mm -hmm. of some sort, mm -hmm. to a goddess of some sort, mm -hmm. to a god of some sort. Mm -hmm. I perceive that in all things... You are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld, beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. Yes. Whom therefore you ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. Yes. God that made the world and all things therein, yes. seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands, Neither is he worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he gives to all life and breath and, breath and all things. So the subject matter mm -hmm. is God. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. The subject matter is God with a capital G. Yes. The almighty God, mm -hmm. the supreme being whose sanctuary is far beyond the galaxies mm -hmm. of the atmospheric environments. The almighty God, the all-knowing and all-powerful and ever-present God, mm -hmm. the creator of everything that is known and that is not known, yes. that is seen and that is not mm -hmm. seen, the one who lives outside the world we live in, mm -hmm. to whom time has no effect. Yes. Death is a creature of his own mind, mm -hmm. and yet it could not affect him. Mm -hmm. That's the God we are talking about. Amen. He abides and he resides in the circumference of his own presence. Mm -hmm. Mighty lightnings and thunderings <laughs> surround and ensue mm. out of the throne yes. in whom there is not even a jot mm -hmm. of, of filth, yes. of deception, and of, of, of lies. Yes. He is a God of truth mm -hmm. who governs everything with the rod and the staff of judgment and righteousness. Yes. Yes. He was introducing God to the Greeks, mm -hmm. which had so many idols mm -hmm. that they worshipped. Mm -hmm. So he said, they are Gentiles, the Greeks are Gentiles. Mm -hmm. I will 
actually begin at creation. Mm -hmm. Now, it might surprise you to realize that as early as in the Pauline times, mm -hmm. Greece was already known for philosophy. Mm -hmm. Greece yes. was already famous for philosophy. Mm -hmm. Whether or not the Socrates were already there or the Aristotles, mm -hmm. the Plato's, mm -hmm. that is yet to be verified. Mm -hmm. yes. But if you look at Acts chapter 17, mm -hmm. you realize that verse number uh, 18 says, Then certain mm -hmm. philosophers yes. of the Epicureans mm -hmm. And of the Stoics mm -hmm. encountered him yes. and said, What would this babbler say? Mm -hmm. Other Sam, he seems to be a setter forth of strange gods because he preached unto them Jesus mm -hmm. and the resurrection. Yes. So it is an, an interesting development that this uh, discussion or this message I will share with you today is based on a scripture mm -hmm. where Paul was in Greek, Greece, mm -hmm. which is a famous territory for academic education. All right. The way the philosophers mm -hmm. in Acts 17 verse 18 mm -hmm. is addressing professors. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's addressing engineers. Yes. Lawyers, yes. medical doctors. Mm -hmm. Yes. They emerged mm -hmm. from ancient Greece. Yes. <laughs> when they listened to the gospel, the yes. scripture is clear. Mm -hmm. yes. They heard Paul speaking about Jesus mm -hmm. and the resurrection. Mm -hmm. The philosophers say he's a babbler. Yes. <laughs> there is no end to his babbling. <laughs> <laughs> and so when we hear Apostle Paul speaking, mm -hmm. He speaks very boldly in a certain scripture. Mm -hmm. And he spoke about the uselessness of philosophy. Mm -hmm. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Do not be spoiled. Mm -hmm. through philosophy yes. and vain deceit vain deception after the tradition of men of course philosophy are traditions of men after ideas the... of men yes and this is why when we talk about philosophy mm -hmm. the great names that are associated with philosophy mm -hmm. are not names of angelic beings mm -hmm. oh, yes. they are names of men mm -hmm. <laughs> Socrates was a man. Mm -hmm. Einstein was, was a man. man. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Elder. Yes. Let no man yes. deceive you. Mm -hmm. Let no man steal mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. The word despoil, it means deny you, mm -hmm. yes. deprive you yes. of your treasure. Yes. yes. Spoiling is taking your possession. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would spoil us? Mm -hmm. Philosophy. Mm -hmm. Philosophy is dangerous. Mm -hmm. yes. it, it takes away some valuable things from you. Yes. And it leaves you bewildered mm -hmm. in amazement. Yes. The amazement has no fruit. Mm -hmm. It gives you a false sense of achievement. Yes. You start to believe that you are wiser. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. <laughs> than wisdom itself. <laughs> Philosophy is based on tradition of men, yes. the rudiments of the world, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. not after, after Christ. Christ. You will never find Christ through philosophy. Mm -hmm. yes. Traditions of men yes. do not lead people to Christ. Mm -hmm. They lead the people to themselves. Mm -hmm. yes. And this is why in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, when he wanted to talk about Gentiles, yes. Paul literally replaced the word Gentiles with the word Greeks mm -hmm. in almost the majority of his letters. Yes. Huh? Yes. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22. 
Mm-hmm. For the Jews require a sign. What about the Greeks? And the Greeks seek after wisdom. This, the Greeks who go to school, <laughs> the Greeks who acquire uh, education, yeah. yes. Yes. but the education they are acquiring mm-hmm. is not engineering or medicine, mm-hmm. which could be useful. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes. The wisdom the Greeks are after mm-hmm. are superstitious wisdom. Yes. They end up with a lot of idols in their cupboards. Mm-hmm. in their endeavor to get wise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So education that we acquire to develop our skills, mm-hmm. to sustain ourselves in this life, it's welcome education. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a gift from God. Yes. Are you a doctor? We thank God. Mm-hmm. Are you a nurse? We thank mm-hmm. God. Are you an attorney? We thank God. Mm-hmm. Are you uh, an engineer? Mm-hmm. We thank mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is the wisdom of the world. Yes. You are going to be relevant mm-hmm. in this world. Yes. But when you seek wisdom mm-hmm. that it takes you to a place where you come back home mm-hmm. with a white collar on your, on your neck, mm-hmm. claiming that you have acquired wisdom mm-hmm. to preach about God, mm-hmm. you have become a Greek. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Ah, Nicola Muro, Fanana Neswans, right? I say. In Bazinema Lisha Brown, you own a Lisha White Muro, as in the pastor. Did Jesus wear a white collar? No. What size was Paul's white collar? Was it extra large? The Greeks are going to school, yes. not in search of learning science. Mm-hmm. No. They are learning philosophy, mm-hmm. yes. confusing themselves, yes. spoiling others in the process. Mm-hmm. Yes. So the Jews are looking for science. Yes. The Greeks are looking for wisdom. wisdom. Mm-hmm. What about us? Yes. But we preach Christ crucified. Of course, we are not seeking after education. Mm-hmm. And to the Jews, we are preaching Christ crucified. Yes. Yes. And to the Jews, a stumbling block. The mm-hmm. Jews are saying Christ is stopping us <laughs> from pursuing our signs. Yes. Yes. And unto the Greeks, foolishness. You see? Yes. In Acts, they say it is a babbler. Yes. Mm-hmm. You do not know that when someone says you are a babbler, mm-hmm. yes. They are actually saying you are full of nonsense. Yes. You are full of foolishness. Yes. So we can test that and say it is true. Mm-hmm. When Paul was in Greece, mm-hmm. yes. thought the Athenians said he was a babbler. Mm-hmm. So he's right yes. when he said Christ is foolishness yes. to the Greeks. Yes. He preached Jesus mm-hmm. and the resurrection. Mm-hmm. The Greeks said it's foolishness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Huh? Yes. <laughs> but unto them which are called, mm-hmm. but unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Of yes. course, Christ is the power of God. Mm-hmm. Christ is the wisdom mm-hmm. of God. Yes. This is the position, Elder. Yes. So. Paul is in Athens. Yes. He's encountering the Epicurean philosophers. <laughs> yes. The Stoic philosophers. <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> and they had written a placard that mm. was written to the, the unknown, unknown God. God. Mm. You can see where philosophy takes you. Mm. It takes you, you get a degree and you start worshipping an unknown God. Mm. Paul was not a philosopher. Mm. He broke down this theology easily. He said, you worship God ignorantly. Mm. I know him. Mm. Let me declare him to you. Yes. Huh? Mm. (laughs) Indina, Gauna Andina, Ma certificate Andina. 
Chamur kuna mata, imene ma certificates, msinga chizive. Indo chiziva. The guy ndi chidikle, mchuone. Mamira chakaita. Was it not a face off? It was a face off. Between those with white collars and an apostle without a collar. A face off between those with beautiful purple gowns and a man who has no gown. He's just a servant of God. Yes. By the grace of God, I am what I am. Yes. It was a standoff yes. like that in Mount Carmel. Yes. The 450 prophets, prophets. of Baal yes. versus Elijah yes. with a, 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 a jacket of Carmel's hair <laughs> and a leather ghetto on his waist. Yes. He met with the flamboyantly dressed yes. the Bushiris of Elijah's time. Yes. They first off at Mount Carmel. Yes. Elijah said, I will show you mm -hmm. the God who answers by fire. Mm -hmm. He is the true God. Yes, yes. Paul is facing off here mm -hmm. yes. with the philosophers. Mm -hmm. So he says the subject matter mm -hmm. is God. Yes. yes. Now, it's important for us to pause mm -hmm. for a moment mm -hmm. and ask is he not supposed to talk about Jesus? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he talking about God? Huh? Hey. And this is what we are going to learn about today. Mm -hmm. Last time we said it, when you preach to the Jews, mm -hmm. you start from the law. Yes. The Jews are not far away from God. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are closer to God than the Gentiles mm -hmm. because of what Romans chapter 9 teaches us. Mm -hmm. The Jews are so spoiled with resources yes. concerning worship yes. and knowing God. Yes. Yes. The Jews' hands are full yes. of God's provisions. Yes. The Gentiles are empty-handed. Yes. Yes. They only have one thing, which I shall review very soon. Mm -hmm. The Gentiles have only one thing. Mm -hmm. The hands of the Jews are full. Mm -hmm. God has done so much mm -hmm. to bring the Jews closer to him. Yes. And those who think that God treats humanity the same way, mm -hmm. may you actually need to wake up from that bad dream. Yes. God does not treat all of us yes. the same way. Mm -hmm. There are always people, few of them, to whom God has granted favor. Mm -hmm. They are always closer to God yes. than others. Yes. Yes. We are going to be Kutunuzo saro chita seta kwenda kumariro kumsha ini na maeva ako agoto zgonzi chaisa Maria kati pakati ya kati chanda kwa sabu ya kati nde kudibre mombe ya kati no tenga chingwa ya kati nde muriwo sa zora dzawa ni na vako ino zaka tika mukarara nzara dika wenyi dika kudishura. Vangu wano ngoti mama, wenda babai mama. Oto buda mai. Mungu ano ano dezi kwa pakona. Ozi kwa mamira haka itamusha. Oh yes, yes. Saka mungara angata zeri kuita iso so. There is always someone that God has drawn closer to him than others. At any given time. Yes, yes. Romans chapter 9 verse 1 to 4. What do the Jews have that Gentiles do not have? Yes. Yes. I say the truth in Christ. You don't lie. I lie not. What about your conscience? My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. What are you talking about? That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Concerning what? For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my about brethren. About what? My kinsmen. Which ones? According to the flesh. You are talking about your relatives in the flesh. Who are they? Who are Israelites. They are Jews. To whom pertains the adoption. Of course. So when, is, when I say the Jews have so much mm -hmm. yes. in their hands. Yes. God had promised mm -hmm. adoption, adoption to the Jews. Oh, yes. yes. Do you remember that? Yes. God promised to adopt the Jews. Mm -hmm. What else? So adoption... Has been promised to the Jews already. 
and the glory. God gave the glory to the Jews. And the covenant. God gave covenants to the Jews. And the giving of the law. God Lord. gave the law to the Jews. And the service of God. God gave the service of God to the Jews. And the promises. God gave the promises to the Jews. Yes. Who's are the fathers? God gave the fathers to the Jews. And of whom is concerning the flesh Christ came. Christ came from the Jews concerning the flesh. Who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. How many resources now, <laughs> elder, do the Jews have? They have all the resources. Yeah, yeah, the do we have fathers among the Gentiles? No. no. Did Christ come among the Gentiles concerning the flesh? No. no. What about the service of God? No. no. What about Jews. the promises? No. Even what even about the Jews. giving of the law? No. Even what the about Jews. the covenants? No. The glory? <laughs> The no. adoption. No. Dolor. No. <laughs> Abana. Abana. <laughs> Zero. Yes. Yeah, so yes. when you look at how Paul and how the apostles preached to the Jews, mm. they never talked about creation. They started with the promises of God. Yes. Every time mm -hmm. Paul met Jews, mm -hmm. he started talking about the God of Abraham, mm -hmm. yes. the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Because in those promises, mm -hmm. God then talked about Jesus. Yes. yes. So the subject matter mm -hmm. should be about Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So the Jews do not take long mm -hmm. to find them introduced to the doctrine concerning Jesus, mm -hmm. they have the promises. Mm -hmm. yes. In which promises mm -hmm. God spoke about Jesus. Yes. You can't talk about Jesus to the Gentiles mm -hmm. who have zero promises mm -hmm. concerning the coming of Jesus. Yes. Yes. So let us sample three examples mm -hmm. where apostles preached to the Jews. Mm -hmm. We want to find out if they started also with the creation. Yes. Let's go into Acts chapter number two, the first sermon mm -hmm. after the ascension of our Lord to heaven, yes. after the resurrection. Mm -hmm. Verse number 22. Yes. Ye men of Israel. Men of Israel. Hear these words. Yes. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. A man approved of God among you. Yes. By miracles and wonders and signs, mm -hmm. which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Let's, let's jump. Let's jump into verse 30. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the foot of his loins, according to the flesh, you would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. Peter preached Christ mm -hmm. from the prophecies of David. Yes. yes. In Psalm 14, Psalm 45, in Psalm 22. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those are the prophecies of David. Yes. And, 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 and Peter did not say, God who created the heaven and the earth, as we see in Acts chapter 17. Mm -hmm. When you see a preacher mm -hmm. beginning at creation, yes. mm -hmm. ah, his road is too long. Mm -hmm. The journey will be too long. Yes. Did you go so you can Jesus? Tatangira pa creation, Agumanaga. Ah, got our joke. When you watch your Ruja Reba. Yes. But you don't want to go to Mari. As that says, I got out of my poor profita, bombs at Jesuko Akaf, Emisha Profita Nazi, Nyacha in it, Maringa could wear. But you doubted, I mean, of course, it's Profita Nazo, Panamica at Tower of Dara, Panamaka Malaka, I got Tower, Panaziki, I got Tuza. Jeremiah told us, Isaiah told us about Jesus. He said, Unto us a child is born, yes, unto us a son is given, yes. Oh, we know what Moses prophesied. Yes. He said, God shall raise us a prophet like himself. Mm -hmm. We are privy to these details. Yes. The Jews are blessed mm -hmm. with the prophecy mm -hmm. of Christ. Yes. They already have the prophecies of Christ. Mm -hmm. At that particular time, mm -hmm. 
When the Jews held the prophecies of Christ, yes. we were worshipping trees yes. and animals and birds <laughs> and fishes and mountains. Yes. The Gentiles yes. knew nothing, nothing yes. about yes. God. Nguwa yu ya ya tuu taurai. Nduwa ya itaur wana wa yekuti. Ukarova baba, shuna basa, asuka rova mai unutanda boto. Izo amai ya wana blessing ya kapa kuna mwana. Blessing inopu wa mwana ni mbereki. Inopu kuna baba. Vae deni wa wasina idea. Vae toti baba isha mwari yako. Unokuwa songu wa danda, shuna moswa. Amai ndova ni presha. Neguta amai mtorwa. Kuberika kuna rwaza. Yeah. So if you look at Romans chapter 9, mm. it says the giving of the law, yes. the service of God, mm -hmm. the promises mm -hmm. belonged unto the Jews. Yes. Yes. Acts chapter 3, verse number 13, start from verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, you men of Israel. You men of Israel. Why marvel ye at this? Why are you looking at this man whom we have healed? Or why you why look ye so earnestly on us? As though by our own as power. As though by our own power. Or holiness. Or holiness. We had made this man to walk. What happened? The God of Abraham. The God of Adam. The God of Abraham. The God of Adam, Cain, Abel, and Seth. <laughs> The God of Abraham. The God of Adam and Eve. The God of Abraham. Okay. And of Isaac. What did he do? And of Jacob, the yes. God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. So why did Peter say the God of Abraham? <laughs> Do you know that Abraham is the 20th man from Adam? Mm. Peter excluded 19 generations. Yes. Yes. He said, I will not talk about Adam. Yes. I will not talk about Seth. Yes. I will not talk about Noah. Yes. I will not talk about Serag yes. or Terah. Yes. I will talk about Abraham. Yes. Because of the word covenants. Mm. Yes. Abraham is significant on the basis of covenants. Yes. God entered into covenants with Abraham on behalf of the children of Israel. Yes. So they can't be children of Israel without Abraham. Yes. He is the progenitor yes. of this holy nation. Yes. Verse number 25. You are the children of the prophets. You are the children of the prophets. And of the covenant, the which, covenant God made, which God made with whom? With our fathers. Saying what? Saying unto Abraham. Saying unto Abraham. And in thy seed shall in your all seed, the kindreds of the earth be blessed. So what? Unto you first, God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. So the, the, the matter is concluded, people. Amen. Yes. Unto you. Yes. God first raised up his son Jesus mm -hmm. to send him first to you, yes. Yes. to bless you, mm -hmm. yes. to turn away every one of you from mm -hmm. their sins. Yes. Yes. Why? Because you are the children of the prophets. Yes. You are the children of the covenant mm -hmm. with God made with our fathers, mm -hmm. saying to Abraham, Mm -hmm. In thy seed yes. shall all the kindreds mm -hmm. of the earth mm -hmm. be blessed. Yes. Now, you see, the Jews could not ask, which Jesus, what, where, who, why? Yes. There's a covenant. Yes. And this covenant had promises. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are the promises that Romans chapter 9 said. Yes. The promises mm -hmm. yes. belong to Israel. Israel. Yes. These promises relate mm -hmm. to the coming of the just one. Yes. yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. You see? Yes. And when Romans chapter 9 verse 4 says, to Israel pertains the adoption. adoption. Yes. Mm -hmm. It simply means, Israel 
deserved to be adopted. Yes. Israel was earmarked for adoption. Yes. God had already spoken about this adoption to Israel. And those who are asking where, mm -hmm. the answer is in Acts chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse number 25, where Peter mm -hmm. was quoting Genesis chapter 18, verse 18, mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 22, mm -hmm. verse 18, mm -hmm. where God said unto Abraham, mm -hmm. And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Yes. Yes. That was the promise yes. of the adoption. Mm -hmm. So the Jews are not going to ask which Jesus, which son yes. are you talking about? Yes. They already have a promise mm -hmm. of adoption mm -hmm. and a promise of the covenant. Yes. But the last scripture that shows us that every time these sermons were preached by the apostles mm -hmm. to the Jews. Mm -hmm. They started with Abraham. Mm -hmm. They never talked about creation. Mm -hmm. So when the apostles come to the Gentiles, they have to talk about creation. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's actually a problem and a signification that Gentiles are far away mm -hmm. from God. By then it Tangatiri kure yes. na mngari. Mm -hmm. Kutanga utaruwa na uze creation. <laughs> Tumaraka sika adam. Yeah. <laughs> ah, mri kure. <laughs> Vajuda waka sangana na impostori. Mm -hmm. Vano tuka atarwa na adam to kurova. Mm. Titaure na uzi shinu. Yes. Na uji? Zishinu. Na uzishinu manji. Yeah. De zesungano. Yes. Ya kaitu kwa na mwari na Abrahama. Yes. Ya kanzi na mwari ndicha zoka. Yes. Gwerinu ya ningu wa zino. Yes. Sara ucha ita mimba. Yes. Ucha pona mwana mkomana. Yes. Anti mayona na wajo. Yes. Dizo shinu. Yes. Da zino rikwaya mngari kuta zoke. Yes. Anti tumashona. Mm. Mugade ni mwara ana kubotu kuna adamu. Dino zoka. <laughs> mwara katu kuna adamu usa zoke. <laughs> hey, am I? <laughs> yes. Mwara katu kuna adamu. Anti topoda zangu kukuona. Yes. Mm. Ah, elder. Yes. Mm. Sino saka imi munga ndo kuna adamu haka zingiri wele. Haka nzandidi kukona haka nsiri wa makeru. Kufara nzire nenda kumuto upenye. Ende kuna Abraham. Haka nzina mwari ndine itasei. Dino zoka. Saka wa juda wanu pari ziri wa wachinzi. Haka zo zoka. Tikatona saraba atakura mimba. Kukaponi wa mwana mkomana. Tiko kuwea kwa kaita ngirozi kumandara Maria. Ikatisi sotakia sotaru wa kuna sara. Mwara zoka. Zoka kwa mngari. Kuchawone kwa nekutakuru wa kwa mimba. Yemka zikutu kuponi wa mwana mkomana. Kana kwa mbiri kwa isa kamanji. Ruzi wa mwari wa kutanga. Yes. Dopa mnu nzi kwa keku tanga. Shichinzi na isa kandoji kachi. Kuchindiropa fazewana. Abrahama na mbo toro zokuropa fazewana. Abrahama kanko siya toro tishe. Akanga atano zoka. Atisata zoto shino famba sey. Atika na kwa shoro kwa isa kamanji. Mnu nzi kwa paha kutoro wana. Wekuropa fazewa. Kwevana. Baba waji kaire. Mwana aropa fazewe. Isa kawoti ndiripano ndaka garapa chea. Dipe indi jike. Kana kutumunu fama kadaru. Mwara kutawara na. Wekuropa fazewa kwa maru. Zine maruzi. Achirupa fazi kwa mna isaka. Mungara achipari za kuti nikapi wajibairo. Nicharupa fazi wano waka komborero. Nikapi wajibairo. Nicharege zira ma komborero. Amucha shewa pekuwa isa. Kana ndajika. Nicharupa fazi. Saka mungara kanga waka garira zwa kechi garuchake. Aka mirira kutivanu. Bacha etu kwa vana kana mungara api wa shibairo. Mvanu wacha puwa umana kana mungara api wa shibairo. Mvanu wacha puwa mwe ya mchene kana mungara api wa shibairo. When God has received an offering, the people of the earth shall be blessed with adoption, with sonship, with the blessing, with eternal life, with 
the spiritual gifts that God is granting Amen. to the elect. Yes. This is what Isaac was talking about yes. when he said, bring me venison mm -hmm. that I may bless, bless you. Yes. But this covenant now mm -hmm. had to be born first. Yes. It was birthed in Abraham. Yes. Yes. And God needed to come back mm -hmm. for this blessing to manifest. Yes. So the Gentiles are not aware of these matters. Mm. Yes. They need to be told who created them. <laughs> Some of the Gentiles are so educated mm. that they are even writing arguments on social media mm. to argue that they were not created. Mm. They just rose up from the ground like yes. mushroom. Yes. The Gentiles are labeling themselves atheists yes. and they are putting up theories of science. Mm that are very embarrassing yes. to deny the doctrine of creation. Una kuneva Eden. Una shika kuva Eden wachitaura kuti we believe that life originated from a living cell. Yes. It's called a big bang theory. Oto na kuti urukuva Eden zvechokwadi. No fa no tangwa va convince kuti amuna kubva mu living cell makasikwa na mwari akakusika indi mwari inonzi Genesis chapter 1 kune muruma anonzi Adam vanoti kunotita 10 years vachikaka vadzana newe va Jude ikoko vakati no nonsense they say dzo dzo gara inadzo kumba taurai pamsoro Pekuti Isaiah wa itaura kutiko. Yes. Musu wakanga yes. chitarirai marumene. Yes. Ucha kupa ichiratizo. Yes. Tarai mandara ichaita mimba. Yes. Ichapona mwana mkomana. Yes. Tell us what Isaiah was talking yes. about. Yes. In the meantime, the Gentiles will be arguing there is nothing called prophecy. Yes. These guys are just throwing up religious garbage that cannot be proven. Mm -hmm. They cannot tell us that there's a God who lives behind the sun. Yes. So it's a very exciting and amazing contrast where the Gentiles are mm -hmm. yes. and where the Jews are. Mm -hmm. yes. They've traveled a long journey with God. Mm -hmm. yes. Certain milestones have already been arrived at. Mm -hmm. The Jews have a better problem than us. Mm -hmm. yes. Even those Jews who denied Jesus, yes. they have a better problem mm -hmm. than the Gentiles. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so in Acts chapter 13, mm -hmm. another apostle, mm -hmm. which is not Peter, mm -hmm. preached to the Jews again. Yes. Yes. You want to see yes. Yes. if the MO is changing. Mm -hmm. Verse number 26. Yes. Paul is preaching he is in a synagogue yes. in Pisidia of Antioch. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, mm -hmm. and whosoever among you feareth God, mm -hmm. to you is the word of this salvation sent. So, oh, verse 17, start from 16. Mm -hmm. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, give audience. So he's talking about God. Let's see how he introduced God. Mm -hmm. The God of this people of Israel chose our fathers <laughs> and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. Yes. And with an high arm brought he them out of it. You see? Yes. Mwarwevanu mm Ava. -hmm. Yes. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 All right. Let's see how this one ends. Mm -hmm. Verse number 32. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, mm -hmm. yes, God had fulfilled the same unto us, their children, mm -hmm. in that he had raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And not even one of them asked uh, Paul, yes. Why are you reading Psalm chapter 2? Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Who told you that this psalm was written about Jesus? Yeah. In the meantime, 
Yeah. Some Gentiles are buying land mm -hmm. using Psalm chapter 2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw Strive Masiwa with a very soft spoken voice yes. at one of the interviews. Mm -hmm. They asked him about his success as a businessman. Yes. And he said, when I was in prayer, mm -hmm. God gave me a verse. Mm -hmm. He gave me Psalm chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse number 8, 9, and 10. Mm -hmm. And he said, ask of me, mm -hmm. and I shall give you the Gentiles for mm -hmm. thine inheritance, mm -hmm. and the uttermost parts of the earth mm -hmm. for thy possession. Yes. And this is why Econet is, in many countries, <laughs> Econet is in Zimbabwe, <laughs> Econet is in yeah. Botswana. <laughs> he mentioned many countries. He said, God gave me this scripture. Strive Masiwa has no clue yeah. about the gospel. Yeah. He read Psalm chapter 2, verse 8, yeah. and he said, It's mm. it's about me. Yeah. God said, Ask from me, yes. I'll give you the Gentiles mm. for your inheritance. Hey. Huh? <laughs> so those who love him, they cursed me for exposing strife. Mm. I say this man is a zeal for God, yes. but he has no knowledge. Yes. He is always tossed to and from mm. by different charlatans. Yes. So where we are now, we are in Acts chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Verse number 32 and 33. Mm -hmm. Paul quoted Psalm chapter 2. Mm -hmm. And he said, this? the psalm was written about Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. God was talking mm -hmm. about the resurrection of Jesus. <laughs> Strive said, no. Mm -hmm. God was talking about Econet. Whose report <laughs> can we believe? <laughs> <laughs> Go and find it. Yes. The video is there on the internet. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, strife started from verse 8. Mm -hmm. Paul started from verse 7. Yes. Peter started from verse 1. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's read Psalm chapter 2, verse 7, mm -hmm. and we'll show you that's where Paul started from. Mm -hmm. But Peter started from verse 1, verse one. and he proved <laughs> that he, Psalm chapter 2 was talking about Jesus. Yes. So Peter and Paul's testimonies mm -hmm. from Psalm chapter 2 mm -hmm. are identical. Yes. Peter and Paul are not fighting. Mm -hmm. Peter, what does Psalm chapter 2 talk about? Yes. Peter says Jesus. Mm -hmm. Paul, tell us your own version. Yes. Paul says it's about Jesus. Yes. Let's bring a Gentile <laughs> with a lot of money. He's a billionaire. Yes. His name is Trev Masiwa. Yes. What is Psalm chapter 2 talking about? <laughs> The gentle says it's about me. Pablo for a baby. And a gumba. Mashura. So when a, when, a, when a rich man lies about God, yes. the poor who clap hands for yes. him, they want him to give him some dollars. But yes. of course, Strive Masiwa was a liar. Yes. The psalm was not talking about Strive Masiwa. Yes. Or anyone else for that matter. Mm -hmm. The psalm was written about Christ. Yes. Let's prove it. Yes. Not from my own opinion. Mm -hmm. We are going to ask apostles mm -hmm. that you believe. Yes. You don't believe me. I'll bring Paul and Peter. Yes. I'm sure you believe those ones. Yes. An apostle is not believed mm -hmm. by most people until he leaves the earth. Yes. Oh, yes. And so you believe in Peter because he's not alive today. Mm -hmm. Peter and God, Pano. Mm -hmm. Muramba says, I eat what the Vanguard of Penumas Vanke. Those are get out of Jimmy Rumpo story. One of those Otai Tower Chocoa das is simple. I see a Kutora Chocoadi, Goma Strive, Vaca Tower and the Magisingaiti. I'm to the Mashura, could I believe? Kutindova Rewa. Whichever God spoke to Strive in a vision. <laughs> is not the God of heaven. 
It's a ghost. <laughs> it's a demon. Yes. It's a Dracula. Yes. <laughs> Satan aka zeve zira mzeve zama siwa. Masiwa akati amen. Akati ndini. Akati ndini. Akati zvakanaka mambo. Taura zvenyu tenzi murando wenyano nzwa. Psalm chapter 2 verse 7. Let's ask Paul who was David the psalmist talking about? Yes. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. All right. This, uh, so we are now in Acts 13, 32. Mm -hmm. We are now asking Paul the Apostle. Yes. Who was David talking about? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we declare unto you glad tidings. How that the promise which was made unto the fathers, mm -hmm. God hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he had raised up Jesus again. God has raised up Jesus again. Mm -hmm. As it is also written in the second psalm. It is also written. This matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> As five years to listen to this. This matter is where? <laughs> it's also written in the second psalm. Wow. This matter of Jesus mm. being raised again yes. by God. Yes. Mm. It's in Psalm chapter, chapter 2. two. Yes. Mm. What is written, Paul? <laughs> Thou art my son. Mm. This day have I begotten thee. Mm. You see? Yes. <laughs> so according to Strife, yes. he is the son that David was talking about. <laughs> because what Strife quoted is now verse 8. Mm. Yes. But verse 8 is not a new scripture. Mm. It's a continuation mm. of what God had said yes. in verse 7. Yes. Let's read verse 7 and 8 now. Yes. Yes. I will declare the decree. So the David Lord, said, I will declare the decree. Yes. Yes. The Lord has said unto me. The Lord said unto strive. Unto me. All right. Thou art my son. Yes. This day have I begotten thee. Eight. Ask of me. Ask who was God talking to? <laughs> God was the talking son. to the son yes. whom he had begotten. Yes. And God said, you are my son. son. Yes. Today I have bathed you. Yes. Ask of me. Yes. yes. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine huh? inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You see now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So to Jesus the Son, yes. which is begotten, yes. God shall give mm -hmm. the, the Gentiles yes. for an inheritance. For inheritance. Yes. And God shall give Jesus mm -hmm. the uttermost parts of the earth yes. for yes. his possession. Yes. yes. Huh? Amen. Let us look at how it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Mm -hmm. The uttermost parts of the earth how but. was Jesus going to get the mm. uttermost parts of the earth? <laughs> but you shall receive power. Jesus speaks to the apostles yes. before he goes back to heaven. Mm. He says to them, mm. but you shall receive power. Yes. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Yes. Mm. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. Mm. And in all Judea. In all Judea. And yes. in Samaria. Where mm. else? And unto the uttermost part of the earth. You see? Yes. <laughs> So Jesus will take the uttermost parts of the earth mm -hmm. through preaching. Yes. Everywhere the gospel goes, mm -hmm. Jesus has taken. taken. Yes. Poor in Greece, mm -hmm. Jesus has taken Greece. Yes. Poor in Athens, yes. Jesus has taken, taken Athens, Athens. Yes. through the preaching of the gospel. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when Jews talk about Psalm chapter 2, mm -hmm. <laughs> Paul and the Jews agree. Yes. It's about Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strive a gentle mm. does not see God <laughs> talking to Jesus. Yes. He says, it's me. Yeah. I will get Botswana. Mm -hmm. God said, I'll give you Botswana. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. Now, how do you take Botswana Masiwa if you have to go to the government office mm -hmm. to make an application mm -hmm. to get your company licensed in Botswana. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you hear that Jesus was licensed in Greece? Mm -hmm. no. Who will need to approve Jesus mm -hmm. in Greece? <laughs> no. Did he not create Greece? <laughs> he created did. Greece. Huh? Did. Yes. So, Jude, Vakasangana, Vakavarika, Mapsarima, Chapter 2. 
Wano una jeso. Yes. Mwe dena akabate mapisari ma chapter 2. Ano zuona iye. Now the problem with this drive masi was interpretation. Yes. Is that his companies are not in all the nations. Yes. You understand? Yes. But the scripture says, I will give you the uttermost parts of the earth yes. for thy possession. Yes. Which means there is not a single place mm -hmm. that Jesus will not get from God. Oh, yes. yes. And so he will have to explain to us in those countries where his company is not established, mm -hmm. why did God say no to him? Mm -hmm. Yes. The second problem with Masiwa's interpretation is that he opened floodgates mm -hmm. for transcendent nonsense among all Gentiles. Yes. Every Gentile who begins to start a business mm -hmm. which goes into other countries mm -hmm. who claim that the verse was also <laughs> talking about, about him. him. Yes. <laughs> and so we end up with Aliko Dangote <laughs> saying, I was also given Psalm chapter 2 <laughs> and God gave me all the Western African countries mm -hmm. and I started my companies there. Yeah. You see the problem? Yeah, Elon the Musk problem. will say, God also <laughs> gave me the same scripture and I started uh, hey. uh, SpaceX. Yes. Huh? Yes. So, I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, the Bible is not talking about God giving all the people mm -hmm. no. all the uttermost parts of the earth. Yes. God was talking to one person. Mm -hmm. yes. That one person cannot be strive Masiwa. Yes. It's not true. Yes. He misfired yes. big time. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he was at an interview. Mm -hmm. The people who were interviewing him were admiring him. Yeah. They cannot correct him. Yes. He is always true. Mm -hmm because he has money. Mm. But God did not give revelation mm. to rich people. Yes. No. God gave revelation by grace. Mm. Yes. And so I have that grace. Masiwa does not Amen. have that grace. Yes. This is why he got a trophy mm. of being the best tither mm. by Pastor Chris. Mm. Imagine <laughs> coming back from the church mm -hmm. with a trophy mm -hmm. that you have paid the largest amount in the church. Uno mm. <laughs> say, how do you talk about a trophy? Can I a trophy of Visa Maria Gawanda Church? Hey. Wakundani. <laughs> Wango chita maku ikuinani. Ten percent, ten percent. Topa wakundani. So right now we are three of us yes. in the studio. Yes. Are you following? Yes. yes. Elder Jeremiah's salary is ten thousand dollars. Yes. If he is to pay tithe, mm -hmm. the correct amount of tithe he must give is yes. one thousand dollars. Yes. And if I get five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. My tithe will be fifty dollars. Yes. Yes. Pastor Rengui gets hundred thousand. Yes. Her tithe will be ten thousand. Yes. How can who get the trophy? Uh, nobody. Among us, <laughs> we are all paying ten percent. <laughs> because if we all give ten percent, yes. it means we are at the same level. Yes. We all did what is required of us by God. Oh, yes. The figure yes. does not matter. Mm. Yes. The obedience is what matters. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. So Aninga Kunda and Strive Masiva. Chris was the same. Oh, yeah, same, same. Chris, <laughs> Chris is a well-known fraudster <laughs> yes. who fakes miracles, mm. who lies about Christ yes. everywhere he goes. Yes. We can talk about Chris mm. as a charlatan. Mm. <laughs> it's a waste of time. Yes. yes. How could you get a trophy mm. for giving money in a church? Huh? <laughs> 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 uh, that's booty. The Bible talks about giving, mm -hmm. and if Strive Masiwa wanted to save God, mm -hmm. he would not start by donating money to churches. Mm -hmm. 
the starting point for strife yes. was to learn the true God. Yes. yes. So that you don't sponsor spiritual terrorism mm -hmm. because you want to give. Yeah. If you give money to a false preacher, mm -hmm. you are sponsoring spiritual terrorism yes. because the false preacher is butchering souls yes. with an empty vein yes. and a deceitful message. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 12 describes how we give to God mm -hmm. in verse 6. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given Our to us. Our gifts are differing Based yes. on grace. Yes. yes. That's why we don't compete. Yes. Mm -hmm. The one who gives a dollar mm -hmm. cannot compete with the one who gives 10 cents. Oh, yes. yes. Because we are giving based on what God yes. has enabled us, mm -hmm. yes. the grace of God. Yes. We don't compete. Yes. Yes. With the prophets, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. These are gifts, yes. Or ministry. Ministry is a gift as well. Let us wait on our ministry. What about teaching? Or he that teaches yes. on teaching. Teaching or is a that, gift. Or he that exhorts yes. on exhortation. If you are exhorting, you have a gift. He that gives. If you are giving, Mr. Masiwa, this is your scripture. Let him do it with simplicity. Do it with simplicity. Mm. He that rules with diligence. He that shows mercy with cheerfulness. So if you end up with a trophy, is that simplicity? <laughs> is that humility? Hey. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's ask Peter. Mm -hmm. We ask the Paul, yes. what does Psalm chapter 2 say? Mm -hmm. And who does it talk about? Mm -hmm. According to Acts 13, yes. 32 and 33. Mm -hmm. Of course, Paul quoted verse 7. Mm -hmm. He said, no, Psalm chapter 2 mm -hmm. is about Christ. Yes. God yes. was talking about mm -hmm. the resurrection of Christ. Yes. That's what verse 33 says. Mm -hmm. God fulfilled the promise he made to our fathers, to us, their children, mm -hmm. in that God raised up Jesus mm -hmm. again, yes. as it is also, also written, written in second Psalm, Psalm, in brackets, verse 7, mm -hmm. thou art my son, yes. this day, if I, I begotten thee. Yes. So my question is, think about it and consider the gravity of Masiwa's mistake. Mm -hmm. When those who are sent to preach the gospel yes. open Psalm chapter 2, mm -hmm. they see the resurrection of Jesus yes. upon which our forgiveness of sins mm -hmm. is anchored. Yes. Mm -hmm. Masiwa sees his company from the same chapter. He sees mass communications. Mm -hmm. He sees liquid telecom. Mm -hmm. He sees econet. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the resurrection scripture, hey. he sees dollars and pounds and euros. We are blessing your equity. <laughs> Let's ask Peter. Mm -hmm. Maybe Peter agrees with Masiwa. Mm -hmm. Psalm chapter 2 talks about Econet. Mm -hmm. This time we are in Acts chapter 4, verse 24. Yes. This is where Peter mm -hmm. spoke about Psalm chapter 2. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Here we, we specialize <laughs> on scriptures. We specialize on scriptures. Yes. We are forensic analysts yes. of scriptures. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so. When Remember, they had healed the lame men by the beautiful gate. Yes. But after that, they were persecuted. Yes. So after persecution, they came to report mm -hmm. what had happened to their fellow brethren. Mm -hmm. And verse 24 says, says what? Mm -hmm. The and brethren who heard the apostles report, Peter and John. Mm -hmm. yes. And John, and, and they, they do what? They did what together? And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God. The whole church... Peter and John included, mm -hmm. they lifted up their voice to God. Mm -hmm. Were they praying to a man? <laughs> to to God. God. Were they speaking to a president? To God. God. Were they speaking to an emperor or to a king? To, to God. God. Or to a governor? To, to God. God. They lifted up their voice to God yes. with one accord. What did they say? And they said, Lord, thou art God. Lord, you are God. <laughs> Which had made heaven and earth. Yes. And the sea. Yes. And all that 
in them is. Mm -hmm. Although these were Jews, mm -hmm. they talked about creation. Yes. yes. Let's not forget mm -hmm. that this is not a service. Yes. It's a prayer. Yes. <laughs> this is not a preacher speaking to sinners. Yes. These are believers yes. praying yes. to God. Yes. Don't yes. confuse the two. Ah, uno sara wa kuti our Judah go to the creation now. But our Judah what to the creation say? Tati chora pa kuparidza. Kutava paridze vachitangira pa creation. Apa vai to tauro zvaona mwari. I prayer tiri kudzwa i. Mazwa ari mu prayer atakuverenga. Mazwa Peter na John ne amadza itenda mazivai wayo. Vakanga vakunyengetera kuna mwari pamusoro pekuro wakonga kwaitwa Peter na John nekutambudzika kwavo ne nawe chire machiri pa beautiful gate chavakanga vamutsa vasimudza chikafamba. They talked about creation verse 25. Mm. Who by the mouth of thy servant David they said, said it's you, mm -hmm. it's you yes. who was speaking, mm -hmm. but you were using mm -hmm. David's, David's mouth. mouth. Yes. What did he say, God? Mm -hmm. Why did the heathen rage? God, mm -hmm. you said, why did the heathen rage? <laughs> and the people imagine vain <laughs> things. You said, why are the people imagining vain things? things? The kings of the earth stood up. You said yes. the kings of the earth will stand up. up. And the rulers were gathered you, together. You also said the rulers were gathered. Going to gather together <laughs> against the Lord, against the Lord, and Amen. against His and Christ. Against His Christ, <laughs> verse twenty-seven. <laughs> for a, for of a truth against Thy holy child Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whom thou hast anointed, yes. both Herod and the Pontius Pilate, mm. with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together. All right. For mm. to do whatsoever they. Mm -hmm. Thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So they quoted Psalm chapter 2. Yes. Without saying it. Yes. Yes. chapter 2. Yes. The reason was not good Mapsare chapter 2. It is because Psalm mm Mairi, -hmm. Paraka Vakuna Mari, Arina Wiswa Mchapta Namari. We have a case of Psalm Mam Chapter, Avana Wisira Mari. Vaga Zisira Yova Medi, Kutwari Yugura Sika Guruana. Sakava Kutora Namari with Zweb Psalm, Avana Wisa Chapta. Let's look at some chapter two, one to three. Yes. I wanted us to juxtapose the chapters. Yes. X chapter four. 25 to 28 yes together to to together with the psalm chapter 2 1 to 4 yes. yes why do the heathen rage why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing why are the people imagining a vain thing the kings of the earth set themselves the kings of the earth have set themselves and the rulers take counsel together the rulers are taking counsel together against the lord against the lord and against his anointed and against his anointed saying yes let us break their bands asunder yes. and cast away their cords from us yes he that sits in the heavens shall laugh yes. the lord shall have them in derision so he already promised it doesn't matter what you are going to do to my yes. son. Yes. I will laugh at you. <laughs> I will surprise you. Yes. The Lord shall have you in confusion hey. because I will raise him from the dead. Yes. And this is the confusion the Jews have until today. Mm. They don't know what happened. Mm. God had said, you may come together against my anointed, mm -hmm. but I shall have you in derision. Yes. You are going to be perplexed mm -hmm. by the act that I shall do. Yes. So Peter read Acts chapter 2, <laughs> and <laughs> they agreed the whole church. Yes. <laughs> Number one, it was not David talking. Mm. It was God speaking, speaking by, the, by mouth. the mouth of his servant, mm -hmm. David. Mm -hmm. And in verse 27, mm -hmm. of a truth, we yes. can verify yes. your words, Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus, 
Mujishandisa David, Shakaitika, against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, the rulers of the earth that David was talking about, they are Rod and Pontius Pilate. The people that imagined vain things are the Gentiles and the people of Israel. We can verify it. Case closed. Psalm chapter 2, by no con confusion, no equivocation, yes. the scripture mm. was written concerning Christ. Amen. Yeah. You may ask Peter about it. Yes. Even the whole church in yes. the time of Peter, yes. they knew yes. the psalm was written about Christ. Christ. Yes. You may meet with Paul. Mm. He will talk to you about the resurrection. Yes. God was talking about the resurrection mm. of Jesus Christ. Mm. Tell me now. How do we end up with a Gentile whose pockets are full because of stealing money from poor people in Zimbabwe and other countries? Mm -hmm. How can he tell us that the chapter was written about him, God giving him nations to establish his companies yeah. in those nations? We are not against him establishing companies mm -hmm. in any country. Yes. We are against lying yes. that the scripture was talking about that business empire of his. Yeah. The scripture was talking about something more useful mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. Yes. Yes. His businesses are his empire. Mm -hmm. The people who are benefiting from his businesses mm -hmm. are his wife and children. Mm -hmm. The whole world is not benefiting. Yes. Yes. Actually, the world is bleeding yes. because of parasitic businesses like his. Mm -hmm. We have spoken so much about his uh, ungodly business uh, practices yeah. where he's conniving with the government to steal from poor people in Zimbabwe yes. and other countries where he is running business. Mm -hmm. He's conniving with the government. Mm. Zimbabwe is the country with the highest uh, charges for, for calling cell phone to cell phone, cell phone to land. Yes. Let alone international calls. Ask anyone yes. who has used yes. Econet roaming. Yes. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. yes. I, I went to that to their offices so many times. Mm -hmm. I was flying out of Zimbabwe. I go there. I want to use Econet roaming. I pay money. It doesn't work. When you come back, there's no dollar. They say pay $100 to use roaming when you're out of the country. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. A few months ago, he introduced a certain bogus TV program mm. called Quesa <laughs> TV. <laughs> it went nowhere. Yes. We paid money mm. to use that TV yes. as a desire to support black business people mm. from our own country. Mm. We know multi choice is not a Zimbabwean business. Yes. We wanted to support a Zimbabwean business person. Mm. What does he do? He fails to strike deals with the service providers, mm. and he shuts down the company, and he gave us not our money. Yes. Until today, we never received our money mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. The last time we checked, they said, we can give you that money in airtime. Mm -hmm. We paid cash. He wanted to give us airtime. <laughs> we paid in US, US dollars. Mm -hmm. He wanted to give us back our money in local currency, mm -hmm. which is nothing as compared to the value of the hard currency. Yes. This other time, he started an insurance business, mm. EcoSure, mm. and he stole money from so many mm. bereaved families mm. through a bogus funeral a policy, a funeral insurance business, Eco Farming, the same mm. thing. Mm. Look at his data charges. Mm. You buy data in Zimbabwe, that should work for one day. Mm -hmm. The data expires yes. before it is activated on your phone. Yes. And you go there, they say, you had applications running on the background. <laughs> How can background <laughs> applications work when my, my phone is not yet credited yes. with this airtime? Mm -hmm. But nobody can supervise Econet mm -hmm. because Econet is a cash cow mm -hmm. for a broke government yes. like the Zimbabwean government. Yes. They like him because he gives them free money. Mm -hmm. 
He also donates good money to the political party. When they are doing campaigns, election campaigns, Masiwa donates money to ZANPF. And so the people are unattended. The government is stealing money from the people. The businesses are stealing money also from the people. There is no oversight, no monitoring, and nothing. So when you listen to Strive Masiwa, it sounds very much like a God-fearing businessman. Mm -hmm. But if you look at his business practices, mm -hmm. yes. there's no fear of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's no fear of God. If I was going to become the president of Zimbabwe, I would simply cancel his license mm -hmm. yes. and ask a more ethical businessman mm -hmm. to, to, to offer that service. And, and in any case, he is also the reason why Zimbabwe could not register other interested uh, companies from competing with him. Mm -hmm. Companies like MTN, they wanted to bring their service to Zimbabwe. Yes. And it was going to be good for competition. Mm -hmm. And is conniving with the ruling party mm -hmm. to be very strict mm -hmm. and not allow other competitors to come in mm -hmm. so that he may have monopoly of the business. Yes. That is also unethical. It is. If you're offering a competitive business and a quality business uh, and a service, oh why not welcome competition? Yes. yes. Look at South Africa. Mm. They always have better prices and mm. better offers mm. because they, um, they have more service providers mm. yes. than Zimbabwe. Mm. And because of that, the people get value for money. Yes. Mm. There are so many people who are tired, fed up of Econet. Mm -hmm. Very, very fed up. Mm -hmm. Very, very fed up. Even when, they, when they, the increase of his tariffs, the way he changes his prices, yes. it's unreasonable. Yes. Yes. Go to those who are using Zo right now, mm -hmm. which is also his company. Mm -hmm. Go and ask them whether they are getting mm -hmm. value for money right. there. He is getting fed yes. from bleeding and fleecing the people. Mm. That's not how a God-fearing man mm -hmm. runs his businesses. Mm. That's not. Mm. So we are doing this to tell you that mm. we are not d d d naive. Yes. When a man who is running a business unethically as far as the principles of business in the Bible are concerned. Yes. He comes with a soft voice, mm. throws verses here and mm. there, and he says, we pray to God, and he says, I want to teach Zimbabweans how to do business. Mm. When he is stealing from the same population, mm. we are going to unmask yes. the predator behind the sheep's clothing and say, no, this is not a God-fearing man. Yes. He should have pity on the people of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. yes. They are facing a difficult situation mm -hmm. because of a repressive regime. Mm -hmm. How can a government ask people to pay tax for sugar, citing health concerns mm -hmm. yes. when it is not taxing those who are buying cigarettes? Yes. Which Just one is one. more devastating to health mm -hmm. between cigarettes and sugar? Cigarettes. If people have to pay tax for mm -hmm. uh, healthy hazard foods, mm -hmm. why not tax beer? Bangani varu kutenga vice roy vasinga badere tax mbawa. Varu kubadera varu kutenga Madison avas kubadera tax ne uti Madison ino raya utano. Ma akutora tax ku sugar as ne uti sugar no kanga sa utano. Co political violence in Urayavan, each attack you are in. When are you going to text Chipangano? How can you text people who are buying sugar mm. and you don't text those who are selling sugar? <laughs> <laughs> who should pay tax? The buyer of sugar or the seller of sugar? I don't know about the tax in the end. And, and why should the government benefit hey. if the idea is to promote healthy foods? Mm. Why is the government benefiting yes. from that initiative? Can the government discourage people from using sugar? Mm. 
Mm. By taking sugar. Hey. Madi matanga manyura kuti sugar yano kanga sa utano. Sezo maga itapa chikoko che mche Madison. Yeah. Morega kubadari sa wano tex. Yes. There is no goodness in all these things. Yes. And these are the people that Masiwa is in bed with. Yes. Yes, we know that very well and he should not pretend to be a man of God. He doesn't know anything about God. Mm. Let's come to the doctrinal aspect mm. of a Psalm chapter 2. Yes. He lied that God gave him that scripture. Mm. Yes. God couldn't give Masiwa a scripture no. that he talks about the resurrection of his son yes. so that Masiwa can improve mm. and expand his predatory business empire. Yes. No. Masiwa's business empire is a vampire, mm. especially to the people of Zimbabwe. Mm. It's drawing their blood. Yes. It's surviving by sucking blood mm -hmm. from the people of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. And we that know God will never stop talking like this. Amen. Yes. Mm. It's a vampire. Yes. yes. Why is Zimbabwe the most expensive place to buy internet data? Mm -hmm. To go one person, check out Imari in mm. Southern Africa. Mm. He is the most expensive person who sells data. Most expensive all the time. Yes. If the government was responsible, they could have sued him and forced him to pay back. Mm -hmm. The people who had bought his satellite uh, system yes. for the Quest TV. Mm. But the government doesn't care about the people, yes. mm -hmm. just like him. So the people lost their money to unethical businesses, mm. predatory businesses, and, and nothing happened to him. Mm. So when we see him trying to do Bible studies with his employees <laughs> in his companies, mm -hmm. Conducting prayer sessions, mm. those are crocodile tears. Yes. Yes. We do not admire what he does is what matters. Every tree shall be known by its fruits. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. These are just a limited example yes. of his predatory tendencies. Mm. Yes. The issue is deeper than what I've said, yes. but I do not want to make this service about him. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know, Kuti, Kanojita business, ziva zino tenjiri wana mngari, nezi singa tenjiri wana mngari. Mm -hmm. Ure gegu zitori la chituko. Chokwani. A few days ago, his wife almost fought with the people when she insulted the people of Zimbabwe, telling them that their problem is that they are lazy. They do not want to work. Mm -hmm. That's why they are poor. I think it was Masiwa who then came to her rescue. Mm -hmm. hey. She said some very mean words mm -hmm. because she got married to a tycoon. To me, Masiwa is a business tycoon. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the right word to describe him. Mm -hmm. You may want to find out the meaning of that word in your own time. So, here we are. Mm -hmm. The example is of a Masiwa mm -hmm. who is a gentile. <laughs> Yes. When he finds a scripture yes. because of the distance mm -hmm. between the Gentiles and, the, and, and God, yes. they are likely going to draw mm -hmm. their own conclusions mm -hmm. about scripture. Mm -hmm. But when the Jews meet, yes. they have boundaries. Yes. When we read the scriptures, we will never come up with the business entities. We have to find out about the promises of God. Yes. So Peter spoke about Psalm chapter 2. Mm. He discovered Christ. Mm -hmm. Paul preached from Psalm chapter 2. Mm -hmm. He discovered Christ. Christ. And this is a classic evidence mm -hmm. yes. of what I've said for the past mm. hour. Yes. The Jews are closer to God. Yes. The Gentiles yes. are far away from God. Yes. It's very easy mm -hmm. for Gentiles to get lost. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at what Masiwa did. Mm. Yes. It's very easy. Kuta zive kuti zamara zvitangire kumakamba nedu. Zotangira kuzvipikirwa zvakataurwa namwari. 
mm. asa tatu za masiwa mm. kuti mabisare mayai taura nezvi mabusiness ake mm. aifanya hotanga mboti taura sungano yes. yakaitwa namwari nemadzi tategura ake masiwa yes. ndo kunobva naudze kuna mari yes. zinobva kusungano yes. yakaitwa nemadzi tateguru yes. ndo iri kunzi na Paulo isu yes. tiri vana vemadzi tateguru yes. akanga apo azvipikirwa namwari yes. ndipita ari kutaura ka Mm. Ano timuriva ne va profita. Yes. Paulo ano taura ho kuti the promises yes. that were made to the fathers mm-hmm. by God. Yes. He has fulfilled them yes. to us yes. their children. children. Yes. Amen. Before you tell us that the scripture was talking about you. Tell us about the promises. Amen. Tell us about the covenants yes. that God entered with your four bearers dzinza rekwa maziwa rinofana kunge rine zvibikirwa zviri kumashure musati mati ndindairewa ungango tora vese kuti ndo wairewa hazvite iverenge kana pastor ndoda kuti muverenge eh reshona kana mimi naro ndoda kuti riverengwe mabasa chapter 13 verse 32 Eh mimi verenga imabasa chapter read Elder eh, Acts chapter 3 verse 25 Before you tell us that the scripture was talking about you yes. tell us about the promises yes. made to the forefathers yes. yes yes and we declare unto you glad tidings how that the promise which was made unto the fathers God did the fulfilled the same unto us their children. Majona. Mm-hmm. Yes. Promise yakaitwa kupi kumadzi baba. Yes. Saka masiwa satazviona pa Psalm ma chapter 2 mm-hmm. verse 8. Yes. yes. Taifa nonge tine zvimwe zvipikirwa zvamwari. Yes. Zvakare wana mwari kumadzi baba ake. Mm-hmm. Yes. Abada. Next chapter 3. Very good to show na mi. Vamwane kuva kuti zva zvi zvikure vachi. Imi muri vana komana wa profit. Zvino masiwa mwana wa profit anodzana. Neve sungano. Yes. Yakaitwa na mwari na madzi baba enyu. Eh eh. Kune sungano. Kunofanyirwa kunge kuine sungano. Yakaitwa na mwari ne madzi baba ake masiwa. Aish. Saka zviri kuheri izvozvo. Hakuna. Yes. Kungo zvika pabzare ma chapter 2. Ndindairewa. Hop. Sakutorwa mombe dzakurima. Azvitwe zvidaro masiwa. Uri muedeni wewe kufana na Yesu. Hauna magwaro aitaura nezvako. Aitaura nezvekuya kwako. Uchizotanga Econet kana Mascom kana Liquid kana na zou kana chi hakuna mm-hmm. izvozvo mm-hmm. ma business ako ariko mm-hmm. ende rambere nawo mm-hmm. damudzikora ko bezi ndero tunoita ma business uchibira vanhu mm-hmm. uchitora mari zvechisimba yes. tukidza mitengo singatarise mm-hmm. kutambudzika kurikuita vanhu vari munyika muri kuita business mm-hmm. zimbabweans mm-hmm. are the people that made masiwa who is yes. today mm-hmm. yes If there is a country where Masiwa's services should be the cheapest mm. it is Zimbabwe yes. his home country yes. it gave him all the capital yes. uh, that he used to start all these businesses mm. that is now well known for mm. the poor people of Zimbabwe mm-hmm. the nurses and the teachers mm. Yes. The police officers and the soldiers mm. the vendors yes. and the uncles yes. and yes. the aunties in the villages mm-hmm. yes by supporting his businesses mm-hmm. they gave him capital yes. to start all these big businesses he must plow back to the community yes. by reducing his tariffs yes. mm-hmm. knowing very well that the people can't afford even a standard meal mm-hmm. on account of economic challenges challenges emanating from an irresponsible government yes that's what a god fearing business person will do mm-hmm. if he conducts a predatory business that's fine it's his choice mm-hmm. he wants to maximize profits by being uncouth in his business strategies mm-hmm. in that situation he should not claim to be a believer yes. because believers are not cruel mm-hmm. like he is doing things mm-hmm. yes 
it's cruel to ask people to buy a product which will discontinue in three months yes. before providing the service yes. for which the product was purchased. You don't pay back the people their money. You go to Christ's embassy, you pay your tithe using stolen money. Maria Takampa is a quest TV. Do you have a visa check with Pastor Chris? I got the guy in a trophy. Imagine what that was named. <laughs> so what is scripture is Chuenga using to rebuke Masiwas mm -hmm. and godly business uh, practices. Mm -hmm. It's first Timothy chapter six, mm -hmm. verse seventeen. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of God. Yeah. I don't hate Masiwa. Mm -hmm. If I'm to meet with him today, mm -hmm. I can assure you, yes. given the chance. Mm -hmm if God grants him the grace mm. to want to listen yes. to a bold man of God. Yes. I can advise him and he can become a God-fearing businessman. Oh, yes. Yes. He has got a very, very good gift mm. in business strategy. Yes. But his desire to maximize profits mm -hmm. have consumed his conscience. Yes. Mm. He is no longer doing business mm. with a God-fearing conscience. Yes. He has become a predator. Mm -hmm. All right, this yes. is the scripture mm. by which we can rebuke any businessman. Yes. Strive Masiwa included. Yes. Yes. Charge them that are rich in this world. Charge Masiwa, he is rich in this world. That they be not high-minded. He should not be high-minded to use his business uh, personality mm. yes. to claim to know scriptures oh, right. and start preaching mm -hmm. like he did when he misquoted Psalm chapter 2. Yes. We are going to charge him. Mm -hmm. He is becoming high-minded. Yes. We are allowed. That's the scripture there. Yes. Yes. No trust in uncertain riches. Yes. But in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy that they do good. He mm. must do good. Masiwa must do good. That they be rich in good works. He is not rich in good works. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Yes. He is mm. not. Why, what else should we do? Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation. He does not have a good foundation. Against the time to come. When he faces Jesus, mm. he shall not make it to heaven. Yes. yes. That yes. they may lay hold on eternal life. Everybody who is crying that he bought a time, mm. he bought data. Yes. Mm -hmm. The data expired yes. before he could use it. Mm. God is hearing those tears. Yes. He will not lay hold on it in our life. Yes. Sanye pera ni nukita ma prayers in my office. Imu chirana business, singa chike mungarim kat. No. Not at all. Yes. All right, let's leave this one. I wanted to go back to Acts 17 yes. to conclude our message. Mm -hmm. I want to say something that you may never have thought about mm -hmm. in a, since you became a believer. Mm -hmm. We are in Greece. Yes. Yes. Paul is preaching to the Gentiles mm -hmm. who are very far away from God. Mm -hmm. yes. And because he's preaching to the Gentiles, mm -hmm. where does he start his message from? From creation. creation. Yes. God that made the world and all things therein. Mm -hmm. Elder, can you read verse 24 and going forward? God that made the world and all things therein. Yes. Seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth. Yes. Dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Yes. Neither is worshipped with men's hands. Yes. As though he needed anything. Yes. Seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. All right, all right. God made all things. Mm -hmm. He gives everyone life, mm -hmm. breath, and all things. Yes. You can't worship God with your own hands. Yes. He doesn't need anything from us. Yes. Can you see that there's an element of rebuke in his introduction? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because these guys in Greece, mm -hmm. they use soil to make gods. Yes. <laughs> You know, a few weeks yeah. ago, we were in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. we, we, there's no way you go without seeing gods. They make gods like confetti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The streets are littered with idols. Hey. Yeah. 
The funny thing mm -hmm. is that all their idols look like men. Mm. Because you can only make something that is similar to what you saw. <laughs> you can't make something that looks like something you have never seen. Have never yes. seen. So nobody can make an idol that looks like God. Yes. Because nobody has ever seen God. God. Yes. And that's why God doesn't want us to see him. Yes. He knows that we will make idols <laughs> that look like him and start worshipping those idols. Maraga change, right? I got time for Maga and Dona. My dear Amuneta Shidori and Kwanze Kutimunduoni. Chas Ugona and I got a Tanjigacha Varwa. So was Uncle Pera's Magada. Ha! All right. What else? And he had made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and he had determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Yes. That they should seek the Lord if haply they might feel after him and find him though he be not far away from every one of for us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As Satan also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Mm -hmm. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and immense device. You see now, mm -hmm. yes. he goes again to rebuking them. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we are the ones who were created by God, mm -hmm. yes. we should stop thinking yes. that the Godhead mm -hmm. is like, like gold or yeah. silver or stone mm -hmm. graven by art mm -hmm. and men's device. Siana ina zuzi dori zamuru kuvezai. Yes. Komu no goveza mwari zei ku istaka sikuwa na ye. Amone reguti ma filosofa pa story kimi ne ma epikirio. Yes. Kana mwari Ari ari ya kati gazira, yeah. upenzi kuti mutore mbezo, mota nga kumu gazira. Yeah. Chino meka sisi si kwa muri, yeah. kuti iye ndia kati sika, yeah. asma uda kumu gazira, kati sika iye. <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah. Why do you want to create God with art mm. if he is our creator? Uh. How does that make sense to you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Elder. Mambo vu maguti mwari ndia akati sika Mporofita wenyu mwe 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 nyanduri wenyu Akato jitaura akati kwa atina ere kuitu kwa naye We are his offspring One of your poets even said it We were birthed by God How then can God create us? Birth us But we start to find the the armor Yes. And the cheese you yes. to create God <laughs> if He is the one who created us. We go not philosophy, no shaguti, no shaguti, no pera say simbagudar. Man bovu maguti ndia katsik motora mbezo, moda kumusika futi ya kumusika ye, da kumkazira. My gentiles, right? Gentiles, nichi mukati. Bagara sana tani yo. Bae deni wa sina kunyengira. Undiluted gentiles. So there is a controversy in Acts 17. After having believed that we are God's offspring, the gentiles in Greece started creating God. Yeah. They wanted to make a golden <laughs> god, a silver god, a god made by stone, mm. graven by art, mm. and men's device. Hey. <laughs> and these are philosophers, mm. educated men. <laughs> Panembezo. Gadziramari. Paru gadziramari. Pato mbofu makuti ndia gadisika. Pantora mbezo. Waku gazira mngari. Iwa wane upenyu. Asoro gazira njichiri life lesi. Eh. Njichiri life lesi. Chaka sika njichiri upenyu. Yes. Ashina msoro. Ashina. Dopo ono ngono ta. Ina kumovire ya kasi kwa filosofi. Ichinzi inga skwede zewa anu peju wana mngari. Yes. And this kwandari is not strange even today. Yes. 
after we laugh at the philosophers of Greece, mm -hmm. the Epicureans and the Stoics, mm -hmm. yes. like we are doing now, mm -hmm. how are they making idols mm -hmm. from gold, silver, and stone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, graven by some art, yes. by some man's inventive nature. Mm. Yes. Uh, the silversmiths, mm. the goldsmiths, yes. the blacksmiths. Yes. Barumeve mbezo. Barugazira mngari pa gris. Yes. Mkashika ipapo, mnoto nzikawa chito imba, kutitaka sikuwa na mngari. Kutuzo wa vunzo, tushino sanga na papi, okay. kutimaraka kusikai, mm. apeza kukusikai, mm. doku vama zo discover kuti iye wa asata asikwa. Mm. Maane juti le kutimusike mwari, mm. akambu kusikai from nothing. Mm. Ashubuti si yes. But this is where the Gentiles are. Ah. Yes. So far, from verse 24 mm. to verse 29, mm. Paul has not yet spoken about Christ <laughs> or the cross. <laughs> He's looking for a starting point. Kuti Jesu, don't tangi la papi. Ma chala tanzi za haka itamai. Haka nguti, di Jesu, di Jesu, chete. Wani wakatozu, ya imose, tinamate mwari. Patuma zuwana pauro, ya jisinga ite. People were bewildered. Tell us, where is this Jesus coming from? Yes. So he had to talk about creation. Yes. And after talking about creation, then introduce Abraham mm -hmm. and the Abrahamic mm -hmm. covenant. Yes. <laughs> this is where you can factor in the Gentiles. Yes. Because yes. as we saw in, 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 in uh, Acts 3.25, mm -hmm. when God talked about the Abrahamic covenant, yes. he did not just include mm -hmm. the Jews, sorry, he yes. included it's all it's the it's nations mm -hmm. of the earth. Mm -hmm. And so you could then say, in as much as what then came first mm -hmm. is the Israeli nation, mm -hmm. but God had always considered the yeah, Gentiles. Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. Yes. So because I don't have time, you may want to read verse 16 and 17 mm -hmm. of Acts chapter 14. That's where you will find that the Gentiles were not totally without something from God. I said mm -hmm. the Gentiles were empty-handed. The Jews, were uh, their hands were full mm -hmm. with the depositions from God oh, yes. under which the Jews related with God. Mm -hmm. yes. The Gentiles were empty-handed, mm -hmm. but there was one thing mm -hmm. that God left to the Gentiles, yes. that when the gospel finally comes to them, mm -hmm. they will not say, where is this God coming from? Mm -hmm. And why had he abandoned us totally mm -hmm. for all these millenniums? Mm -hmm. Verse 16 and 17, Acts 14. Who in times past suffered all nations to walk He was in talking their about God. Ways. He allowed all nations to worship their idols, yes. like the Greeks. Mm -hmm. yes. How bad? Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness. The Gentiles were allowed to worship idols, mm -hmm. but God made sure mm -hmm. he does not leave Gentiles mm -hmm. without a witness. Mm -hmm. So what did he do? In that he did good. God's witness to the Gentiles mm -hmm. is his goodness. Yes. What good did he do to them? And gave us rain from heaven. Well, there was rain from heaven. Yes. And fruitful seasons. Fruitful seasons. Filling our hearts with food and gladness. That's the only thing <laughs> Gentiles were given. There's no promise. There's no fathers. There's no service of God. There are no covenants. Nothing else. Just rain. Acha. 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 
muminda mm. yenyu yeah. so mm. god witnessed himself through yes. one thing yes. before the gospel came to the gentiles yes. he used one thing yes. to witness himself yes. to the gentiles yes. he sustained their mortal lives yes. the witness is the sustenance yes. of mortal life yes. no prophecy no nothing yes. just the sustenance Yeah. So when when we meet with the two people in the street we are preaching yes. one is a Jew one is a gentile yes. whom should we spend more time with the gentile <laughs> <laughs> I could be that again. <laughs> we start from creation. Thank you, Elder. You see, it's, it's a very interesting message, right? Yes. But you done my promises. Yes. And a service of God. Yes. And my fathers. Yes. And a glory. Yes. And the giving of the law. Yes. And the covenants. Yes. And kuya kwa Christ banyama. Yes. And the fathers. Yes. Yes. eight yes. gifts mm. according to Romans chapter 9 yes. the gentiles have rain mm. <laughs> and the sun <laughs> and the wind <laughs> sustenance yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what i want to ask do, do we ever feel this vulnerable mm. yeah, no. <laughs> do the gentiles yeah. know that they are this empty ended mm. yeah, as far as the gifts of god are concerned yeah was of philosophy now imagine how jvamba was na kuveka but usinga zvizivi kuzvikudza ko unongochita mama mama you still akadzidza so va juda vane vari ku israel varona va edeni vane ma bag vachiburika pa airport obva watanga watari nendimi Wa juta wakona magai ne sicho rakale so rine mapepa Tsikadzi na magai ne prophet from Zimbabwe the Jews said let's treat him as a tourist There's nothing to this man he has brought some tourism money to the coffers of the government as far as worship is concerned there's no end to his vainness ma pe parim sejo tsina mo ari fuka ati zvabe pa Mas aí já já argunhara. Kuti totaura kuti kudi. Pamsoro pe cheja taida kuvaka ku Israel. Kuti kuti msoro maguti mama pinda ji. Endai kamuno vaka ku Israel izvezvi. Mono tinoperere kwaka building iyo. Mune ruja mugaza strip. Havusi kugarika. Unga wani kuchigara imo vaka imboru mizezu. Ne ganda dema. Mune conflict ya ganda. Ajibude. Fungwa yake guti yanga yero titikaita chechu misrae. Teta shuka pa gedi ya kudenga chato chato. Sina akafa gedi za terapira ukaziru. Ya no pono mwana wati mjenta yo. Ya. So if you are a gentile and you want to discuss the gospel or God with the Jews you have to know these things yes. for you to know a good starting point yes talk to them about what they have yes. and what they know yes when they see that you know very well yes. that you are a gentile yes. they will know that you are learning something important about god yes because you can't all, all of a sudden wake up and say i'm a child of god yes. without knowing the full implications mm. of gentile nature kuturime yes. den zvinomborewe iko you are created with an empty end mm. as far as the provisions of god are concerned kungovamba nyasha dzikasa tokuwana uchatochererwa uri empty kudai yes all right but i want you to see something uh, you regions i wanted to say 
The very, very interesting thing in Acts 17, mm -hmm. something that I have not really found enough time to discuss enough, it's verse 26. Mm -hmm. God has made from one blood mm -hmm. all nations of men mm -hmm. for to dwell on all the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. I want us to, in, let's see what the uh, NASB says. I want to see if it has replaced the word blood. Yes, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And he made from one man mm -hmm. every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. yes. So this teaching was seeking to show you that you and I were not created. Mm -hmm. God did not create all of us. Mm -hmm. Yes. God created one man. Yes. If you say, I was created by God, it's a lie. Yes. It's a lie from the pit of hell. We were not created. We were born. Yes. God created one man. Mm. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. no. When did God create him? <laughs> if you are to be asked, yeah. when? <laughs> if you say, God created me, I'm created by God. The question is, when? When, hey. when did God create Pastor Regui? When did God create Elder Jeremiah? Mm. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> we were not created. <laughs> we were born. <laughs> Okay, let's leave about the date. Tell us the venue. Where were, we, where were you created? The moment you tell us that God created you, you must tell us the date. Yes. You must also tell us the venue. Yes. Where mm -hmm. did God create you? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. <laughs> comrades and friends, we were not created by God. Yes. We were born. Yes. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. God only created one man. Yes. All right? Yes. God created Adam. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right? Yes. And then from Adam, mm -hmm. God extracted Eve. Mm -hmm. Yes. We were not extracted. Yes. We were born. born. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Acts chapter 17, verse 26, yes. says exactly that. Yes. God made from one, one blood, blood yes. all nations of men mm -hmm. yes. for to dwell on all the face of the earth. Yes. You see now? Yes. So when God created Adam, he created all nations of the earth. Mm -hmm. In Adam, yes. all humanity is born. Mm -hmm. yes. Adam did not create all of us. Mm -hmm. Adam gave birth to us. Mm -hmm. yes. So the process by which Adam came into existence, mm -hmm. it's called creation. Yes. The process by which we came into existence, <laughs> it's called birth. birth. Yes. Don't confuse. Iwe wa unakusi kwa wakabere kwa. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Give us the NASB. Yes. I want us to look at the ESV and the RSV as well. Mm -hmm. And God made from one man, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. every nation mm -hmm. of mankind mm -hmm. to live on mm -hmm. all the face of the earth, mm -hmm. having determined their appointed mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. and the boundaries of their habitation. Highlight the first part up to the end of the word mankind. Mm -hmm. He made from one man Men. every nation Men. of mankind. Men. Yeah. Now, this is not my, my <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> this is what the scripture is saying. Yes. 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 Huh? The position Amen. of scripture. It's a position of scripture. Mm -hmm. Pastor, mm -hmm. 
Mwara ana kusika vanhu vese. Mm. Mwari akagadzira nyika yese. Yes. Kuburikidza nemurume 1. Yes. Akatindongo sika one chat yes. and chada. Mm. Tikango sika dam mm. and chatira zvikusika foot. Mm. And this is why Cain was not created. Mm. Yes. And Abel was not created. Yes. And Seth was not created. Yes. Adam knew his wife mm -hmm. and Cain was born. Yes. Adam knew his wife yes. and Abel was born. Yes. Adam knew his wife yes. and many sons and daughters yes. were born, yes. including Seth. Mm -hmm. So if you are to meet with Adam mm. and Cain and Abel and Seth and their siblings, mm -hmm. They are not the same quality mm -hmm. of people. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because Cain is born. Mm -hmm. Adam, his father, is yes. created. Yes. They are not the same. Yes, yes. they are not. Ukatora munu asikwa namangari. Nemuna zvaro wane munhu vanga dzivakafanana If Adam is a product we can safely say the product called Adam mm -hmm. was made by an engineer called God mm -hmm. yes. you will find God's fingerprints yes. on Adam's Adam. body yes. but you won't find God's fingerprints on Abel's body. Ah, no. You will find Adam's fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Yes. You understand? Yes. yes. So Cain, Abel, Seth, and their brothers and sisters, they are products of Adam. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Adam is a product of God. I'll give you three sets of evidence mm -hmm. to prove to you that Vana vana baba vavo, vanga vaka siyana. Proof number one, God never spoke and gave law to any of Adam's sons. Yes. God never gave a job to any of Adam's sons. Di chenge tereo mukaiz, di 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 zero gardenir, maraga vana va Adam. And you go over to my Avasiva Navango. Canavari Vano Tuma, Vano Tuma Nababa Wabu, Akavaita. You understand? Yes. The best that his sons learned about God mm -hmm. is what Adam eulogized mm -hmm. when he spoke to his sons. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, Ad, uh, Cain and Abel. There was a man who was very close to God. That man was me. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, mm -hmm. we lived with God. Yes. He could come and we could see him. Mm -hmm. We could speak to him. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine his son's ears standing like this mm -hmm. and asking, what happened, Papa? Where can we see? Can we go back and meet with that God? Mm -hmm. And Adam would start to grow a sad face. Mm -hmm. It's a long story, my, my sons. Son. It's yes. a long story. <laughs> One day when I'm in a good mood, I will tell you in full yes. what happened. Oh, yes. You understand? Yes. This is the first set of evidence. Mm -hmm. The second set of evidence is food. Mm -hmm. God never attempted to feed Adam's children. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was his, his, their father's job mm -hmm. yes. to prescribe the kind of food yes. that Cain and Abel were to eat. Yes. God said, it's not my job. <laughs> I don't care. I have nothing to do with that. Come down for an I find. Come down with God. Come down with God. Come down with God. And then as well. But because God had brought Adam into existence. Mm. Yes. He took it upon him. I have him. to feed this man. Oh, yes. And so verse 16 of Genesis chapter 2 is clear. Mm. And God said unto mm. Adam and said, mm. of every tree of, of the, the garden, garden, thou mayest freely eat. Hey. Tell me <laughs> who chose food for Cain and Abel. Uh, yeah, it was Adam. Adam. <laughs> huh? Adam. <laughs> Is a snuggle tower at Maranga's name as 
Kanagei nano jganyuji. Kanano jganyuji. Parangazi ya inanju. Apusi wanawaku. Kanapuka ita nzara. Chaka ya baba wenyu. Ya dine inanju. You see? And you are not to forget that what Adam ate is different from what Cain and Seth and Abel ate. Yes. Do you want to know why? Mm -hmm. Because the trees that God gave to Adam mm -hmm. were not outside the garden. Oh, yes. Yes. They yes. were in the garden. Yes. 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 And what God said to Adam in verse 17 mm -hmm. of Genesis chapter 3 mm -hmm. was that he, from that day onwards, yes. Yes. he was going to need to sweat mm -hmm. for him to, to yes. eat. Yes. 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 And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. So God said to Adam, mm -hmm. from this day onwards, mm -hmm. I will make sure that you eat with sorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes. God did not give him something to eat. No. He simply said, you are going to sweat. Yes. yes. You are going to be in sorrow mm -hmm. to, in order for you to eat. What foods were going to bring sorrow to Adam mm -hmm. in the process of acquiring it? Yes. The Bible does not say. Mm -hmm. But he was going to have to till the ground, mm -hmm. yes. according to verse 18. Yes. He was going to till the ground, mm -hmm. and he was going to have to eat the herbs mm -hmm. of the outside of the garden. Mm -hmm. What kind of those herbs were, God was not going to be concerned. Yes. And, and, and therefore, it means the diet of Adam was changed yes. the moment he was expelled from the garden. Yes. And that is evidence that his sons also began to eat something that Adam had never eaten yes. for the rest of his life. The last thing I will show you that God is not, did not care about the sons of Adam mm -hmm. is that in Genesis chapter number 3, mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter number 3, verse 20, mm -hmm. what does it say? And Adam called his wife's name Eve. Yes. Because she was the mother of all living. 21. And Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothed them. God clothed Adam and Eve. Yes. But God did not give them spare clothes mm -hmm. for their future children. Mm -hmm. Yes. God said, I'll only clothe those that I have made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since my gonna sooner my shizha. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God did not consider himself with a burden yes. to clothe Adam's children. Yes. God said, they are not my children. Yes. They are your children. Yes. So don't confuse Adam being a symbol mm. of a child of God yes. and the sons of Adam. Mm. Yes. They are not God's children. Mm. Yes. They are Adam's children. Mm. And the reason behind that is source. Mm. Mm. Adam is the source of life. Yes. As far as his children are concerned. Yes. He is their God. He made them. But God made Adam. God created Adam. Adam. And out of the created Adam, according to Acts 17 26, mm -hmm. out of the created Adam came all of us. Yes. We were all born. By one. By one father. Mm. Yes. We were not created. He said, Na kusikwa, taka zharwa na Adam. Yes. Saka, nekuda kukuti Adam, akati zhara, akanga asikwa na mngari. Ajina kunya tsoshata kutititi taka asikwa na mngari. Nekuti kusikwa kwa Adam, diko kutanga kwa upenyu wese. Yes. Because Adam who beget us, 
was created, created. by God. Yes. It is not entirely wrong to, to say. say God created us. Mm -hmm. But for you to say I was created by God, <laughs> it will not be true. Yes. Yes. God created us in Adam. Adam. Yes. Yes. But I was not created. Mm. Yes. I was born. Yes. Mm -hmm. The principle that God applied in making Adam the progenitor of all humanity mm -hmm. is in verse 11 of Genesis chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Principle ya kuti and just sika vanhu vese nda kungosika mumwe chete. Wanda sika yeye ndiye achazvara vanhu vese. Yes. Iri pa verse 11. Mm -hmm. Verse number 9, let's start from verse number 9. What happened on day number three? And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Yes. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. This is where we end. I want you to follow me closely. It's an introduction. We shall dig deeper into this matter. Mm -hmm. A very interesting matter. Mm -hmm. Yes. You were walking around saying I was created by God in <laughs> God's image. It's not true until you tell us the date of your creation <laughs> and the year and the place, yes. the venue. Wakasikiri mm wakupi. -hmm. <laughs> so follow me closely. We'll end now. And God said, mm -hmm. let the waters under the heaven mm -hmm. be gathered. This is the process of mm -hmm. creation. Mm -hmm. yes. Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together, together. unto one place. Mm -hmm. And let the dry land appear. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the waters were to be gathered in one place. Mm -hmm. yes. And at the center of the sea, yes. the earth was going to manifest like this. Yes. Which means the earth was buried mm -hmm. yes. under the sea. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse number 10. And God called the dry land earth. Since the earth manifested, it needed a name. Yes. Mm -hmm. And God called the dry land earth. Mm -hmm. And the gathering together of the waters called he sees. Yes. And God saw that it was good. And said, this is the proper setup. The, the earth must appear. Mm -hmm. yes. the, the seas must gather into mm -hmm. one place. Yes. Mm -hmm. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass. Let the earth that is manifested, being having been buried under the sea, mm -hmm. let it bring forth grass. The herb yielding seed. The herb yielding seed. And the fruit tree yielding fruit after and his the kind. And the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Whose seed is in itself Aha. upon the earth and it was so. This is the principle. Yes. Did it happen? <laughs> and the earth brought forth grass. Yes. And the herb yielding seed after yes. his kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the tree yielding fruit yes. whose That's seed in was in itself <laughs> after his kind. And God saw that it was good. So mm -hmm. le 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 let me show you that let's take away let's take away the, the, the word tree mm -hmm. in verse number 11. Yes. Now that the earth is manifested, yes. God now speaks to the earth and say, may the earth bring forth grass, a building seed, mm -hmm. and the fruit tree, mm -hmm. I like the word tree, mm -hmm. yielding fruit mm -hmm. after his kind. Mm -hmm. So the tree has two things with itself. Yes. It yields fruit, fruit. Yes. but the fruits come with his nature, nature. Yes. which means a banana tree yes. must produce a banana fruit. Yes. A mango tree must produce a mango yes. fruit. You can't expect an avocado fruit yes. from a banana tree. Yes. And, 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 and this is exactly what the Lord said in the book of Matthew chapter 12. Shall we be quick to, to, to cement this teaching you have never heard what I'm about to say to you now. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says in verse 35, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart brings forth good yes. things. Mm -hmm. And evil men out of the evil treasure bring forth evil things. But so, yes, so, so 
Let's, let's leave this one. Mm -hmm. In this scripture, he was clear, he was talking about men. Mm -hmm. yes. If you are good within, mm -hmm. you bring out good treasure. Yes. If you are evil within, yes. you bring out evil treasure. Mm -hmm. yes. He had said it again in Matthew chapter 7, from verse number 15, beware of false prophets. And then he says in verse 16, you shall know them by their fruits. Yes. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even, Even so, so, every good tree mm -hmm. brings forth good fruit. Mm -hmm. But a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. Yes. So we now know that fruit represents holiness mm -hmm. yes. based on Romans chapter 6, mm -hmm. verse number 20. Mm -hmm. The fruit that God wanted us to produce Mm -hmm. Is holiness, it's verse yeah. number 22. But, but now, yes. But now being made free from sin yes. and become servants to God, yes. you have your fruit unto holiness yes. and the end everlasting life. So the fruit is holiness. Yes. We have spoken about this yes. many times. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want you to know, I want you to know that a... Uh, of course, of course, yes. of course, mm -hmm. the tree that Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, verse number 11, mm -hmm. the fruit mm -hmm. tree, mm -hmm. yes. yielding. the fruit tree mm -hmm. yielding fruit after his kind. Mm -hmm. It's referring to you and me. Mm -hmm. We are the true, the true fruit. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do we verify that? Mm -hmm. Follow me. We see that believers are sometimes represented by trees mm -hmm. in biblical proverbs. Yes. The example is Matthew chapter three, mm -hmm. when John spoke yes. to the Pharisees yes. who had come to him, yes. and such says in verse seven. Yes. What does it say? But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come yes. to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the rest to come, yes. bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. He spoke to, to whom? The, to the, the Pharisees Sadducees. and Sadducees. Yes. yes. And he said, bring forth the fruit. Mm -hmm. Was he talking to them as people mm -hmm. or as trees? Mm -hmm. Let's read verse number 10. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Yes. Therefore, every tree which brings not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. You see now. Yes. yes. So the trees John was talking about mm -hmm. yes. were the Sadducees yes. and the Pharisees. Yes. yes. So in Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. God is creating. Yes. yes. He then said, no. Mm -hmm. I don't want to plant trees over and over mm -hmm. and over again. Mm -hmm. yes. I want to just command one tree mm -hmm. to bring forth fruit mm -hmm. after his kind. Yes. But there is something that I want to bring forth again. Yes. I want to bring another tree mm -hmm. yes. that gives birth to seed mm -hmm. which is in itself. Mm -hmm. yes. So the tree produces fruit yes. and it has a seed in mm -hmm. itself oh, yes. All right. upon the earth. Mm -hmm. So once this tree manifests, <laughs> yes. no problem. Yes. Yes. We are going to have what? We are going to have more trees coming up mm -hmm. yes. because the tree has seed yes. in, in itself. It has yes. mm -hmm. regenerative capability. Yes. So every man right now mm -hmm. is the tree yes. that God was talking about. Mm -hmm. yes. Every man yes. is a tree yes. because inside a man yes. there is a seed yes. to give birth to his own sons. Yes. And there is no need for God to create more men. <laughs> so Adam yes. was yes. created yes. as a tree yes. with the seed in yes. himself. Yes. So Adam <laughs> is a created tree. Yes. But if you see another tree like Adam, yes. after Adam, yes. that one is not created. <laughs> it was born by the previous tree. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you see now. Yes. So God created nature mm -hmm. 
to be self-sustained mm. yes. after the day of creation. Dango sika chete ndato penza. So bereka na jega. Yes. So hoa, uno bereka hoa. Yes. Uzkwa uchi bereka uzwa. Mombe, si bereka mombe. Huku, si bereka huku. Madada, si bereka madada. Musuno bereko madada nenzo. It's against nature. Zo, zicha pera. Musuno bereko makotopea. Ni maranjisi. It's against nature. Yes, yes. Makotope ya chapera. Yes. Kucha sara maranji zicheti. Mrukona sosaka itu. Yes. This is why God gets angry mm -hmm. when people are now doing things against nature. Yes. yes. Because yes. when you convert a man into yes. a woman, yes. you are killing all the seed <laughs> yes. that is set by God, yes. organized yes. In, in that tree. Mrukona kubora mutu satu wa Tijaji kachi, gureri no ya. Zadaro wako mana. Negai miti ibereke. Mukati mayo mune seed. Amen. This is how Adam was created. He was a tree. Yes. After his kind. Yes. Whose seed was in himself. Yes. With the capacity to reproduce. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. But the difference between seed and fruit the difference between seed and fruit mm -hmm. is monumental mm -hmm. because the fruit mm -hmm. is behavior. All right. Seed it's is nature. nature. Hey. So the greatest <laughs> person is not the person who can mimic and come up with a banana fruit. Mm without learning the nature of the banana yeah. seed. Mm. Because everyone who holds a banana fruit today mm. is going to end up with no bananas in his house. Mm. But everyone who has a banana seed mm. will never run out of bananas. Yes. Yes. Because the banana yes. seed yes. who always have the nature, nature of the of banana, banana tree, yes. it has the capacity, mm. number one, to reproduce mm. itself, yes. number two, to maintain mm -hmm. the character of the banana tree. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a seed. Mm -hmm. It always carries mm -hmm. the character of its parent. Yes. You understand? Yes. And this is why there was no expectation from God mm -hmm. from the sons of Adam. God looked at Cain and Abel and said they carry the nature of the one who begot them. Yes, Even yes, if yes. I'm going to bring them into the garden, yes. it won't last a week. Yes. They will be disobedient, yes. just like their father. Yes. They are seeds of a bitter tree. Yes. They will produce a bitter fruit. Yes. There's nothing better that can come out yes. from the sons of Adam. Yes. Are, you, are you following? Yes. Yes. And this is why God made sure mm -hmm. our Lord Jesus mm -hmm. is not born from the oh, nature of yes. the first Adam. Yes. God yes. was preserving yes. the introduction <laughs> of a new seed, yes. variety, Amen. a seed Amen. of holiness, yes. Yes. a seed of obedience, yes. a seed of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And this is why Jesus' message mm -hmm. was very unique. Yes. Okay? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Elder, are you following? Can you say something about this? <laughs> yeah, Hamai, we, we are being blessed by this teaching because indeed we can see that uh, it is quite clear from Genesis chapter 1 mm -hmm. uh, from verse 11 mm -hmm. that God created the fruit and yeah. from this this fruit tree mm -hmm. and from this fruit tree now we see that it had seed in itself. Yes. So what just God did was we learned that in Genesis 1.11 mm -hmm. the tree was representing uh, Adam. Mm -hmm. So it was just Adam who was created. Mm -hmm. And in Adam himself mm -hmm. there was seed mm -hmm. and that seed now yes. that, that is why we saw in Acts chapter 17 <laughs> now yes. that of one, One blood, blood. yes. <laughs> we can see all of us now manifesting. Yes. And the, as you were saying, we were not created, but we were born. Mm -hmm. Because it was the aspect of the seed now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, reproducing <laughs> reproducing itself, yes. Pastor, yes. Am I? <laughs> Did you see that 
the Lord was preserving Jesus yes. Yes. to yes. come from a different seed. Mm -hmm. yes. You can't produce a different fruit yes. if you are of the same, same seed. seed. Yes. Yeah, my true compare with one of the Kutsana Guru Kwa Itwa Mozi Irkujava, Ne Mucher, Jagasian, Jagasian. Saka Ishevedu, Nature Yao, Dear Kutar ones, you know, a ne Moziag. Yes, yes, Imoziag. It's a seed of obedience. Yes. And this is why the Lord continued to say, be born again. Mm. Yes. Be born again. Mm. Yes. Preaching repentance yes. is preaching regeneration. Yes. Be born again. Yes. The moralistic message mm -hmm. is that which Moses was preaching. Yes. Yes. Thou shalt not kill. Mm. Thou shalt not be a false witness. <laughs> Thou shalt not covet. Yes. Thou shalt not, not lust. Yes. Yes. Did it change people? No, they yes. never changed. Mm. You are trying to fight with the nature of yes. the fruit. Yes. Yes. You are not contending with the nature of the seed. Mm. Yes. It's the seed yes. that must change. Yes. Everyone who is sick and tired of lemons mm. should not quarrel with lemons. <laughs> no. Look for an <laughs> orange seed yes. quietly yes. and you have no problems of bitterness. Yes. You are going to have an orange tree mm. and it shall produce a sweet fruit. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the reason why God created one man, mm -hmm. it was because God designed our world mm -hmm. to be functioning from a productive doctrine, mm -hmm. a doctrine of production. Yes. It's all about producing, yes. producing, yes. producing, yes. producing. Yes. This is the reason why Christ did not replace the whole human race mm -hmm. with new human people, human uh, beings, mm -hmm. which are obedient. Mm -hmm. God could have simply destroyed all of us mm -hmm. and introduced an entire species of people yes. who have never sinned, mm -hmm. and the problem could be solved. Mm -hmm. But the manner in which God brought us into this world was it through one man? Yes. The solution to the one man problem mm -hmm. needed God to introduce another, another man, man. Yes. <laughs> who is going to produce children yes. of his good, holy, godly, obedient nature. Yes. And this is what mm -hmm. Romans chapter 5 mm -hmm. teaches. Mm -hmm. By one man, sin mm -hmm. entered into, into the world. Yes. And by one man, mm -hmm. righteousness also shall enter into the world. Mm -hmm. Let us read verse 12. Yes. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Verse 16 and 17. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift, for the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses, Unto justification. First if, God, verse 17, yes, yes. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 21, 22. Yes. For since by men came death, by men came also the resurrection of the dead. Yes. For as in Adam all die. How many die in Adam? All, all die. Some die. All, all die. die. South Africans and Zimbabweans and Mozambicans and Namibians and Botswanas. All, all die. die. Americans and British and the Spaniards. All, all die. die. In Adam, yes. Gentiles all. and Jews die. <laughs> we all die, all die. of us. Yes. Even in Christ mm -hmm. shall all be made alive. Amen. I've said it before. Mm -hmm. So many people are very confused. Mm -hmm. They do not see that First Corinthians 15, 22 mm -hmm. is a very pregnant verse. Yes. yes. The Bible does not say by Adam mm -hmm. all die. Mm -mm. The Bible says, in Adam, all die. Yes. Which means Adam is not identified as a person. Mm. 
is identified as a place. Mm. Yes. Where did we die? In Adam. In Adam. <laughs> in Adam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Adam is like a tree, mm. yes. according to verse 11 and 12 mm. of Genesis chapter 1. Mm. Yes. That was corrupted before it started producing seed. Mm. Yes. And all the seed which was in itself yes. got corrupted at the same time. Yes. Yeah. You understand? Yes. yes. In Christ also right. shall all be made alive. Yes. And this is why the whole world is not alive today. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the whole people are I not in Christ. Yes. They are in the world. <laughs> yes. The place of resurrection yes. is not your country yes. or your location mm -hmm. or your suburb yes. or your mansion mm -hmm. or your rural area. Mm -hmm. The place of resurrection is Christ. Christ. Yes. He is the progenitor. Mm. Yes. He has the seed yes. of righteousness okay. abiding in him. Yes. Now, let's read this one for the last time. <laughs> Genesis chapter 1, yes. verse number 9. Mm -hmm. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. What else should happen? And let the dry land appear, and oh. it was so. All right. And God called the dry land earth, yes. and the gathering together of the waters called ye seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit yielding, the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. So... The trees are growing on the earth. Mm -hmm. yes. That's where we shall see the tree yielding fruit mm -hmm. after his kind. Okay. He's a person. The Bible was clear. Yes. I'm not talking to trees here. Yes. I'm talking to people yes. who are called trees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth. Mm -hmm. The place of germination mm -hmm. is the earth. Yes. These trees with the seed mm -hmm. yes. are not going to grow in the sea. Mm -hmm. They must grow upon, mm -hmm. the, upon earth. the earth. Yes. This is why the earth is sometimes described as the mother mm -hmm. of all okay. life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because all living organisms, yes. they live on, on the, the earth. earth. Yes. They grow um, all plants. Yes. They grow on earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let, let the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, mm -hmm. whose seed is in itself, let and it grow, grow upon, upon the, the earth. earth. Yes. And I said, the tree is representing you and I, mm -hmm. yes. who must have the seed of righteousness yes. in us. Yes. That's how we are producing the fruit yes. of holiness, yes. according to Romans 6, 22. Yes. But... If the fruit tree is us, according to Matthew chapter, chapter 3 from verse number 7 to verse 9, mm -hmm. where John said, you Pharisees are trees. Mm -hmm. yes. Make sure you produce good fruit, mm -hmm. meat for mm -hmm. repentance. If you don't go to you, you down. Mm -hmm. Every tree producing not shall be you down. Yes. He was talking to Pharisees. Mm -hmm. And Sajjus says, yes. trees are used in the Bible mm -hmm. to represent people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are these trees growing upon the earth? Yes. That's verse number 11, 11. Yes. of Genesis chapter 1. Yes. Where is the earth coming from? Mm -hmm. Verse number 9 yeah. says, God said, let, let the, the waters earth. under the earth be gathered together unto one place mm -hmm. and let the dry land appear. Mm -hmm. And it was so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which means the earth. Mm -hmm was buried. Yes. The fruit tree yielding fruit mm. whose seed is in itself, mm. whose seed is after his it's kind, kind. Yes. was inside the buried earth. Yes. The fruit tree which represents you yes. and me yes. cannot yes. grow yes. if the earth does not appear yes. and yet the earth was buried yes. in the sea. Yes. So God had to command yes. the resurrection of the earth yes. before the tree grows. Yes. Does not the earth, in Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse number 9 and 10, mm -hmm. represent Christ? 
who was buried, yes. and he had to resurrect after three days. Yes. Where can we find us, the trees, mm -hmm. producing good fruit, mm -hmm. meat for repentance, mm -hmm. according to John the Baptist's yes. message? Mm -hmm. If we do not abide in Christ, yes. can we produce what any fruit? Yes. John chapter 15, <laughs> verse number 3 and verse number 6. Yes. We can't produce fruit mm -hmm. if we don't abide in Christ. Yes. Now you are clean yes. through the word which I have spoken unto you. Verse 4. Abide in me. Abide in me. And I in you. I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Yes. Except it abide in the vine. Yes. No more can you except you abide in me. Except the fruit tree yielding yes. seed. Yes. Whose seed is in itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Abides in the earth. Yes. It won't produce fruit. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Jesus is saying, I am the earth. Without me, no tree will produce anything. <laughs> but we must also ah, remember amazing. that the earth did not appear on its own volition. Yes. God commanded. commanded yes. And God said, let the dry land yes. appear. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who resurrected Jesus <laughs> from the, the dead? dead. God. God Verse number 24, mm -hmm. Acts number 2. Mm -hmm. Who resurrected Jesus from the dead? Yes. Huh? <laughs> whom God had raised up. End of story. <laughs> it's God who raised Jesus, Jesus from yes. the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse number 10 says, God said, uh, from verse 9, mm -hmm. let the dry land mm -hmm. appear. Yes. Let the waters be mm -hmm. gathered together mm -hmm. into yes. one place. Yes. The earth was buried mm -hmm. in the sea. Mm -hmm. yes. And so the earth had to appear. Mm -hmm. Jesus appeared mm -hmm. unto his apostles <laughs> when he had risen from the dead. Yes. He had to appear. Yes. And the appearance mm -hmm. of a dry land mm -hmm which is surprising mm -hmm. that the earth having spent millions, if not billions of yes. years, buried under the sea, mm -hmm. when God commands it to appear, mm -hmm. it appears with no signs of being drenched in water. Right. How does the earth appear dry <laughs> when it was buried in the sea? <laughs> God was revealing something that is hidden hey. concerning the mystery of Christ. Yes. How does Christ rise up from the dead mm. with no sign of mortality on him such that he enters through a locked door mm -hmm. without asking those inside the room to open him? Why and how is the earth dry and yet it was covered by the sea? Anyone who is coming from the pool must be wet. Yes. Anyone who is coming from the ocean must yes. have soaked clothes. Yes. How does the earth appear dry yes. when it is rising <laughs> from the sea? Yeah. How is Jesus holy when he carried our sins on the cross? <laughs> Akamuka see us in a chivi. Ia chins akatakura matenda edu. Au na kutakura resultats of edu iwe. Ujenda pam chinji kwa. Wamuka see waka oma kudai. Kuoma ire endu kuti papa takudai. Kuita dry. Iro rangaraka fushiri wane mvura. How is the earth dry? Yes. When it was soaked and covered and buried by the sea. This is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He has risen. Yes. Death could never have held him hostage. He is too holy to be held in the sea. Look at how dry he came up. He even asked for a fish. Let me have some food to prove that I have risen from the dead. I am Amen. not a ghost. Amen. These trees who must produce fruits after their kind, mm. yes. they have to wait for the dry land to appear. Yes. We, it doesn't matter how many prayers <laughs> the trees are going to make. There is not a single tree that can produce any fruit, that can produce any mm. seed until the dry land appears. Yes. Yes. So all the Jews were doing in the law could not have borne any fruit because Jesus had not yet appeared. Yes. Jesus must appear yes. because the Bible in verse 11 is clear. The tree must be a fruit 
upon yes. the earth. Muturu kunzi bereka zibereko. Uine sidi mauri. Zino ngwe tikira bezi pa msoro pe earth. Zino yes. earth ya cha esati ya mera. Earth mm. esati ya one kwa. Earth ya kafushiru wa ne mvura. Yes. Ndiani. Uchafuku nyura earth ya kafushiru wa. Yes. Magwarano, usati mwe mako mm. Dia na chakira kudenga Dendenga. Diko kuburza jeso kufakuna mngari mm. Kana kuti dia na chaburu kila kukazika zika yes. Diko kuburza jeso kufakuma kwa kafa mm -hmm. Why is omu kwa na mngari mm -hmm. It only took God's commandment mm -hmm. yes. Let the dry land appear okay. yes. The Bible is clear mm -hmm. God raised him yes. from the yes. dead yes. The barrenness of all the trees is a problem that no one can deal with yes. until the dry land appears. Yes. The waters of the sea should not cover us anymore. We are the trees that are planted on the dry land. Mm -hmm. Do not be deceived by the word waters. The sea water does not grow any tree. Mm -hmm. oh, it is yes. too toxic. Yes. <laughs> the trees upon the dry land are not receiving water from the sea. Yes. They are receiving water from heaven. Yes. The rain must fall down. Yes. And that rain represents the provisions of God. Yes. It represents the word that comes from heaven, yes. according to Isaiah 55. Okay. It represents Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. according to John chapter, chapter 7. Seven. We are a dry land yes. people. Yes. We do not associate with the sea. Yes. The waters of the sea are not drinkable. Mm -hmm. They are so sour. Yes. They are so smelling. Mm -hmm. They are so dirty. They are so toxic. They are so corrosive. God had to take it away. May the sea waters be gathered into one place. May the dry land appear. So everyone who is coming from the world to the church, Everyone who is being born again today, mm -hmm. you are tired of swimming in the ocean. Produce seed after our kind. Yes. The question is, what is your kind? The Bible is clear. We are no longer men. Mm -hmm. We are now a new creation. Yes. All things are passed right away. Yes. We are now a new creature. Mm -hmm. We are a dry land yes. kind of people. Yes. We produce fruit. Yes. We have seed in ourselves. Amen. Amen. So don't worry about everything that people are talking about. There are no morality questions and sermons that can solve the problems of the world. Mm -hmm. The immorality, the moral decadence. There are no teachings at my Samba show yes. which can change the people. The character of the people is the fruit of this tree. Mm -hmm. You can't shout at a fruit mm -hmm. to change its taste. You need to deal with the seed. And this seed issue can only be addressed when the dry land mm -hmm. appears. Yes. So we have the resurrection of Jesus Christ in Genesis chapter 1, verse 10 to 12. Ah. The appearance of the dry land, which was once buried by the sea. Yes. It is the first resurrection mm. that you will find in the Bible. Yes. The resurrection of Tanga. Yes. You yes. understand? Yes. dry land. Yes. Yes. So when you talk about Adam, he is part of those trees yes. growing upon the dry land in 127, 26, 27, 28 of Genesis. Even Adam could not be created mm -hmm. without the dry land. Yes. Where was Adam going to live mm -hmm. if the dry land had not appeared? Yes. And so Adam is a tree, mm -hmm. a fruit tree yielding fruit mm -hmm. whose seed is in himself. Yes. Adam has a seed in mm -hmm. himself. 
This is why God did not need to create other people mm -hmm. after Adam was created. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your homework is as follows. Tell us, why does Christ seem to be another tree mm -hmm. whose seed is in himself as well? Mm -hmm. As much as he has appeared as the great dry ground, the earth today, mm -hmm. in our message. Mm -hmm. What are the properties of Christ as a tree with the seed is in, in himself mm -hmm. that we need to identify mm -hmm. to apply in our lives? Mm -hmm. As children of Christ, mm -hmm. we are his offspring, mm -hmm. yeah. just like we were Adam's offspring mm -hmm. before we were born again. Mm -hmm. yes. What nature of the Christ seed should we take in our everyday life? Mm -hmm. Because every seed behaves like its progenitor. Bearing my name, you know, behave, you know, Rarama. Kufana na na kaibereka. Mm. Yes. Kana wabere kwa na kristu. Mm. Urimbe uya kristu. Mm. Chichi na itu kwa nembe uinonzi kristu. Mm. Yes. Baba vedu nya kutibereka. Mm -hmm. Chinofano honge chiri natural mm. patiri sus. Mm. Yes. Chinofano hukura di zamsiano kutimara kuya uzota uranezu. Nekuti mwari wa itawara na kristu akatibereka. Mm -hmm. yes. Mwari shaka nga zinga adam. Mm -hmm. Haana kutawara neva na adam. Mm -hmm. Achitimaka bere kwa neva ndaka zinga. Mm -hmm. Saka nemiwa andidi kukona. Yes. Shune sutaka bere kwa naka diwa na mngari. Yes. Saka tinungo rara matiri waka diwa na mngari. Yes. Kwete nekuta kwedu. Mm -hmm. As ineche mbeu ya taka bere kwa nayo. Yes. Tiri mbeu. Mm -hmm. Kristu. Jija kaitu kwa na mngari pana kristu. Saka, we are going to, in our second day, day of this message, we are going to say, what are the elements of Adam as a creature mm -hmm. that we don't have because we were not created? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And what are the elements of Christ as our progenitor, mm -hmm. the new Adam, mm -hmm. which we don't have? Mm -hmm. Because Adam akafana na pashunu jesu neva na vake. Aasi siri chisi kwa ana kusikuwa na mngari. Ane nga ato jaru wawo. Aka jaru wa hafana nena akasikuwa. Saka Adam ane jai sangana na jose muna akasikuwa. Jisi na kuone kwa neva ka jaru wa. Murugona pane nyajo. Awa ka jaru wawa. Vacha tozi kwa na akasikuwa. Kutika na waka sikuwa, shishino isha misa. Mm -hmm. One example ya shunu shaka yetu kapana Adam, shisinga itike pana kaini na abir na seti, desha kuti Adam hana ucheche. Mm -hmm. Hana akamu ya mwisa. Yes. Hakuna akambona Adam asina ndebu. Adam akasikuwa hali murume mku. Ha, baba. Yeah. Saka kana akato shara kaini, kugazira shitoi chesho, anenga ito zizira. Kutukova nufana, wanu vaita wa diki diki. Kano usara wakara ka tiki tiki daru seiko. Kutobata mchecha ada maito zizira. Anga sata ambu una mcheche upenyu wange wese. So Adam does not have infancy. He was never a newborn. He was made an adult. The day Adam was first introduced into the world. He was already a full-fledged man. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was never a toddler his entire life. These are the unique characteristics yes. of the progenitor. Yes. What are the unique characteristics of Christ as a progenitor, mm -hmm. which we shall never be able to have yes. because we are not created. We are born. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Those are your homeworks. Go and find out so that when I start preaching in our part two of this message, you are going to discover how fervent you are in following after the message. The major takeaway is we were not created, we were born. Istaka jarwa, maraka kosika baba, we do chet. Dovva maraisa mbeu, yeva na muna baba. Akat iwa kuno jara, ini jewusika andi chada. Saka, Pane vesi ya kanaka zisingaite ya nchakura tizai 
inorati zauti mwari pa akatonza Kristo akashandisa same principle mm -hmm. ya akaita pana Adam yes. ndongo sika mwe chete vamwe mm -hmm. vanozvarwa newanda sika mm -hmm. zvekuramba ndichisika ndichada mm -hmm. and ndikuramba ndichita basa rekusika mm -hmm. ndende ndi busy mm -hmm. ndongo sika baba wenyu ndobva ndaenda yeah. mozvarwa mese munokwana mm -hmm. nika imbotadza kukwana yes. Adam ari one ane capacity kuti zvara tese yes. Mm -hmm. yes so this is the message the title is Adam and creation. Yes. Mm. That's the title. Yes. Adam and creation, part one. Yes. Uh, I want to listen to two believers, a lady and a gentleman. Uh, we have been here for too long to find out. Did you understand why it is not proper for us to say we were created? Only Adam was created. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were not created we were born. Mm -hmm. yes. Ah, am I? To come back and say, "Am I?" Kunya sonswisi sa nyaya kuti resurrection yatanga kupari zuko ba Genesis chapter one chayip. Yes. And it anga this na kumbu iwona verse ten, verse eleven, verse nine kwaya tangira. The waters zanga shita na ngurwa kushami zuko kuti. Dry ground. Rikuto buda really dry ground. Yora raka vigwa. Ranga raka vigwa mvura. And makore eku vigwa kwa rati azile. Aka wandisa. Saka raifa na kubuda really dug. Raka tota. Raka nyakatika ni kutota. Yes. You see what has been. Eh. Mabanti pabuda dry ground. Pakada ripa. Chino tori chishamiso. Chishamiso. This is why resurrection is a mystery. It is. It's a marvel. It's a marvel. How is the earth dry? Yes. When it has been covered with water like this. Yes. Kunzi, isharunda kata takura zvishe di matenda edu. Yes. Asimiru wacho yo yo. Waka buda usinaka na sin. Waka buda usinaka na sin. Yes. Ukano gamchiru kwa nashi. Yes. Ando hitu wazo kandaka. That is why Apostle Poet said, you would like to know Jesus. By the power of his resurrection. Yes, 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 yes. So, it's quite great, am I? Anyone who wants to say something? Tino tenda amai ni tijiso iyo i ita zita Adam and creation. Yes, ya ndino na kuti taganga tishiti taka sikuwa na mufana ni zwa amari. Asi tazo zita na asi. Tino isusu atina kusikuwa. Taka sikuwa ndi Adam isusu taka zarwa na Adam sezo manga mchitaura kuti e, yichibatwa kuna Romans chapter 5 chinonga tichinzi kuti muna Adam vanhu vose vanofa vakafa muna Adam wete by Adam saka tinona kuti takafa muna Adam saka Adam ndiye akasikwa saka ndana kids kwa ndakombore kwa zvikuru ndichiona kuti E, taka ziza na uye kuti baibiri rose runota uranezu wa kristu. Saka ndo zuenda wana futi pa Genesis chapter 1 verse 9. Kuti ivura kaoma runopa riza kristu. Saka baibiri rese indij runota uranezu wa kristu. Saka pana uye uye kuti Adam ndiye akasikwa isusu taka zwarwa na Adam. Saka yandi itira zwaka naka ni chuona pa chapter 20, pa verse 27. Patino suwa kutozi kutzi mwari waka sika munu, waka sika murume. Saka tuluko wana ipapu kuti panunzu waka sika murume, ana kusika varume. Saka pa verse 28 ndo patino suonzu wakuti kakanzi bereka na muzadze nyika. Saka tulupo na kutindo patino so sharwa ipapo. Saka panditra yanditra shaka naka meseji yoyo. Thank you Amai. Mashida. Thank you so much for raising that issue where God said 
Be fruitful and multiply. Yes. And replenish the earth. Yes. It's true. God was commanding a man yes. who had the capacity to become fruitful. Mm -hmm. yes. God had made him a fruit tree yes. yielding fruit yes. whose seed was yes. in himself. Yes. So Adam could not ask, how can I be a fruit? <laughs> how do I do it? <laughs> you have the seed. Yes. I gave you the seed. Une seed mkatimako. Chisikwa chese chine mbeu machiri. Chine mkana wakusubere Thank you so much. Any last believer to come in? Uh, thank you, Amai. Dear brethren, Simbarashi, for Southern Africa region, Namibia, Vindu Assembly. In the battery, Amai, we and Angandi Chitra, Shakanaka Chose. Uh, I think Brother Shingi has touched most of the aspects, but I'm also going to give highlights of how I was blessed. Number one, we started from learning uh, the danger of entertaining philosophy when we were learning from Colossians chapter 2, verses number 8 and 9, probably to verse 10 where we learned that we should not be deceived, you know, easily swayed by vain philosophy. And we learned that the masters of philosophy are the Greeks in brackets being used to refer to the Gentiles who know not God and are far from God. And then also First Timothy chapter 6 that you brought in later when we, you, you were giving us a practical illustration of the key difference between the Gentiles and the Jews, when we had a practical example of strife Masiwa, uh, you cited Amai, First Timothy chapter 6, verse number 17. And towards the end of that scripture in verse number 20, we realize also there that the word philosophy is explained in the context of the word science, falsely so-called. And you had alluded to it in reference to the atheist Amai, that, uh, the atheists are the people who claim to be enlightened. And uh, in that account, philosophy is what they are using to argue about God. And in, in, a, in, in, in a bid to find out God, they use human imagination and human creations concerning the God whom they claim they have created them. So the context of the confusion and foolishness there is that in one line you say God has created me. In another practice, you then go ahead and, and, and formulate or make a god from silver gold and even from trees, as we see in the book of Ezekiel and Jeremiah, that you, you take a green tree and you make a god out of it. So that was an interesting aspect. And finally, Amai, the other aspect that really blessed me so much is the understanding uh, that I got from Genesis chapter 1, that actually when the Lord... Uh, God said, let the dry land appear. Number one, we have learned from Bible patterns that it was a command. And that command then overrides every other force, every other condition. And the, at the word of God, at the command of God, things are. And this is how our Lord rose from the dead, at the command of God. And I learned uh, for the first time, am I, uh, the difference between Genesis 1 verse 3 and Genesis 1 verse 9. That in Genesis 1 verse 3, we learned in the, in the sermon that uh, you taught us from, from, from GCC, uh, the, 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 the birth of Seth, uh, that Genesis 1 verse 3 was referring to the birth of the gospel. When, when the Lord said, uh, let there be light, it was the birth of the gospel. But today we learned that actually the first scripture to talk about resurrection is Genesis 1 verse 9, meaning to say our Lord had to rise, to resurrect first before the gospel was then born. So I, I was really excited there, Mai, to learn that also uh, there is no uh, 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 coming, uh, coming forth or, or, or sprouting of trees and herbs and grass without the earth first, the dry land appearing. And this then cements the, the concept that you were teaching us, Mai, that we were not created. We were brought forth 
from the dry land that God had created or that God, that God had commanded to appear. So when the dry land appear, that's where we are going to find the trees, which are, are us, uh, the believers. And I'm still keen to go and, and, and further research on the Omwe Kamai to learn how Christ then comes in the factor of, 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 of the tree to identify with us who are also trees. Thank you, Amai. Thank you, my dear. Let's hear from Elder. Elder, tell us the burial of the earth in the sea. Yes. And then the earth resurrecting by the commandment of the word of God. Mm. How did it appeal to you? Yeah, uh, this teaching am I and Kumbora Zaganyan because, uh, yeah, it is always a mystery <laughs> uh, to learn the things of Christ because as we learned, am I, could you find good? Uh, it is clear in verse 10, it said, and God called the dry land earth. Yes. Uh, when this earth by God appeared, it was dry. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and God had to give it a name. Yes. Just like our Lord was given a name above every name. Yes. 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 And to connect this verse now, the appearance of the dry land being a, a commandment that came from the Lord. And then as Brother Simba was saying, and for us now to see it was the resurrection of our Lord yes. without sin. Without sin. Yes. And Just like the, the dry land, the land came out dry. Dry, yes. 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 Can a drop of water. Yes. And Israel also got the dry land appeared. Those are going to go to Parinema tree, fruit yielding yes. trees. Yes. yes, with the seed in itself. And we see now that the resurrection of our Lord now is also learned in John chapter 15, could we should abide in Christ for us to be fruitful. The trees cannot be a fruit yes. if they don't grow upon the earth. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the place of growth. <laughs> the place of growth. <laughs> yes, and that is why I can see most of the scriptures in the New Testament. Yes. Because we learned about the place. Mm -hmm. The place, yes. yes. That's that's what also First Corinthians fifteen twenty two said. Yes. In Adam all die. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in also Christ all shall be made alive. Yes. Saka, yes. you you you. What was quite interesting you now is for us to learn. Yes. Now we is guys. Ishewanga wakatopeza. That's in my template. Yes. Apana chirikungo iti kaja. Yes. 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 And you, you can see it, Jeroma Guaraj, the tree yielding fruit after his kind. After his kind. How good with a moody, which is his kind. Yes, as <laughs> it is. Yes, yes, yes. Well, believers, we can be here the whole night. Yes. We have had a long run. Mm. Go and listen to this message again mm. and try to focus on the aspect that. We were not created. Mm. Yes. We were born yes. by He that was created. Mm. Think more about it and you realize that we lose more understanding by believing that we were created. <laughs> 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 but it's bye for now. Let's meet again to do a part two of this message. Yes. Yeah.